Okay. Hello. Hello and hi, everybody. And make it triple. <laughs> Happy Friday. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Welcome to Ace Attorney Investigations, also known as The Dylan Show. All right. Mm -hmm. ben, ben. I think we're all set up. Uh, oh, I want to test something because we had a weird issue where uh, Craig left, and I'm wondering if it's my preset has a button that also affects Discord. So let's see if this causes Craig to leave us. Oh, okay. This will be a good not. test. So I don't hmm. know why... Interesting. All right. I I think Craig just Craig just died Craig that last, right? last time. Craig Isn't is more that every week on the Dylan show. Ace dipped as soon as we finished Smash or Pass. Uh, it is every week on the Dylan show. Yes. Craig, guys, look at my cool cursor. Woo! <laughs> Very fitting. If I do, say I so have myself. an Edgeworth hand. Look at this cool shit Ori's got going on. Look at that. Wow. wow. Is that something you made or something the emulator gave you? It's something I made. I Oh, very nice. I basically I was looking for I was looking for Phoenix pointing for some reason. I can't remember what meme I was making out of it, but I was making some meme with it. And apparently it came up with Phoenix right as like a cursor and I went down this rabbit hole Ooh. to now I have a program that's like integrated with Windows and you can make your own cursors and uh, he actually it nice. does change it doesn't change within this software but like the rest of my screen if I mouse I'm over something I'm kind of sad Why? I think that hand shouldn't be pointing like quote unquote palm towards the screen I kind of want it to be pointing the other way like palm away what? huh? because Imagine like you're Edgeworth and you're pointing at something. You wouldn't be pointing like that. You'd be pointing with the same hand, but the fingers looking away from you, like in deeper into the screen. Okay. Does anyone see what I'm talking about? I understand I what you're talking about, Dylan. Nothing. But all I did was take an image of Edgeworth's hand pointing uh -huh. and add it to the screen. I didn't oh, wait, draw this is it. You? I didn't draw it. Wait, I physically. Ori, this is you doing this. Yes. I thought it was the game. No, no that's her I cursor. literally just that's explained this mouth. whole point. <laughs> we right just had this. This is a special Ori thing. Ori, <laughs> this stream only has cool things. Ori can use Edgeworth's hand to click tags on AO3. It is part of the cursor now. Mm -hmm. I will draw it, and Ori will make fun of me, and she won't even put it on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it on stream, not as my cursor. Just to make fun of me, though. <laughs> but yes. Alright. Well, I'm glad that we love the shenanigans. It's just all shenanigans. All the way down. Shenanigans all the way down. Uh, I barely remember what we're doing. So let's look at our organizer. Uh, I do remember that last time we were here, mm -hmm. we connected that there were two bullets. So there must have been mm -hmm. a second gun involved. And there was also a safe that had possibly been tampered with. So yes. I think we were of the conclusion that a detective was involved. Like we know, we know Pink He's Guy the is detective. Involved. The guy, the guy that died is a detective. That we know. Because this guy is that his is gun. Detective. And um, then the other guy is a prosecutor. No, not a issued prosecutor. Issued to the victim. He is a prosecutor, Just, yeah. Pink pink bro tennis man is a prosecutor. Wait, it's going to be prosecutor versus prosecutor? Well, oh no. Oh my god, he's... that's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> I, in this game, we don't go to trial, to my understanding. And that doesn't matter. Oh, we don't? But he's also, we don't have a def Wait, we don't have an arrest yet. Wait, we're not going to see judge? Okay. I have Mars, no we've idea. Been over this actually, one, but... but two. Remember that, like, you, you know, your favorite turnabout where it's Edgeworth versus Von Karma. But it's not Edgeworth versus Von Karma. <laughs> We're not in court, but and he's not, not necessarily the prosecutor of this case. He's just a prosecutor. All I'm saying is, we had people who were prosecutors battling before on screen. Oh, you're right. I do see what you're talking about, Edgeworth versus Von Karma, as a defense attorney. Yes. Other Von Karma. I'm thinking yeah, Manfred as a defense one. attorney, not as a prosecutor. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 
Let let me. Uh, the goal I remember now. The goal was to continue to look around the room. And yes. I don't think we've explored this whole office yet. No. Dylan. What? Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, sir? <laughs> Mr. Host of the Dylan it's Show, Dylan you should show. know your lines. I didn't realize I was also playing Dylan. <laughs> oh, my oh it's my line! Right under this trophy. <laughs> the, uh, Knight of Prosecutors, right? So close, Gumshoe, so <laughs> close. They both start with King. K. King of Prosecutors. That's why I said And so it's not close. a trophy, it's a shield. Is on a podium. Still not a trophy? So a, trophy. A, a trophy has to be a specific thing? <laughs> they only send this to the winning prosecutor, right? Yes, but I have no real interest in the perceived worth of other people. Especially when it's already in his name. Only it's I know high. how much my edge is worth. <laughs> so, so high exactly. and mighty. <laughs> As for my own worth, that is something only I can determine for myself. <laughs> Damn, Dylan got it in one. <laughs> that, that's so slick, sir! Is that why they call you Edgeworth? I'm gonna have to try saying that sometime! <laughs> no, they call me Edgeworth because that's my family name. Unfortunately for him, his monetary worth is tied directly to his worth to me. Oof. Oh! 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 Oh no, oh, that's, that's, Edward, that sounds so bad. On an account of his being still bad. learning. He's still on his redemption path. He'll get uh, there. Uh, Edward, please. All right. So we did that. One, one day he won't be a dick to dick. Oh, no, no examine there, but examine here. Oh my oh. God. Emma was going to be the protag. That's crazy. That would have been interesting. I I'm here for Edgeworth. I much prefer I hope, this. I hope yeah. she makes a cameo. I also I much, much prefer, prefer this. this. <laughs> ah, watch out for the teacup fragments there, sir. Oh, wait! His They broke his tea set! Uh, oh, oh they're gonna the pay. When I, after ah! I watch this your office, I, uh... <laughs> I mean, they, they can kill a guy, they can tamper with the safe, but now they mess with the killer's tea set. going to pay. This Game on. Dylan, Dylan, um, Dylan, can I put you on blast? I was about to put myself on blast. I'll put yourself on blast then, then, please. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, I'm putting you on blast then. No, it's you or me. No, so, Dylan actually today uh, broke glass <laughs> preemptively. <laughs> to the, thankfully, not a Dylan. teacup or tea set, but he I was going to say. <laughs> Edgeworth, uh, sorry, uh, Gumshoe is like, uh, sorry, Mr. Edgeworth, I actually broke that myself. You see, I was washing the dishes, and when I was putting it away, shh, Slammed it into the shelf itself. And then the killer died right on top of it, so it looks like he did it. <laughs> Slam dunked it. Yikes! You're really mad over this! Oh my god, look if at I the little leg! Myself, He's, like, actually, like, ah. I would totally pretend the killer fell on top of it and broke it with his dead body. Wait, no, the victim. But <laughs> the killer it's fell up. on top of it with his dead body. Yes, we've already confirmed the killer is dead <laughs> on top of that. He's at least dead inside. Mm. This tea set is very dear to my heart, and it can only be bought in England. Oh. It costs more than your whole month's paycheck. Uh. It, to, be f <laughs> to be fair, isn't that much? What? what? <laughs> No, I feel like the killer's wasted one of my monthly paychecks! To be fair, everything costs more than one of his paychecks. <laughs> I love the gumshoe foot stomp, though, I gotta say. That one was good. Ooh. I'm... Okay. Not... well. What? <laughs> Are you okay? I just picked up my water and somehow immediately <laughs> covered myself in it before I brought it to my mouth. Before <laughs> I brought it to my mouth. Okay, some someone please edit in the airplane clip and that's when my drinking problem developed. He just I splashes water on himself. Drinking problem. <laughs> Can I'm I very bad at drinking. again? 
Did I do what? Can I put you on blast again? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the chillin' really show. Good. Save it for later in the stream. Don't front okay. load my blast. <laughs> I have to front load. We it's have just, to have stamina it's so on the related, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the only time I cover the floor in water today. Yes, today. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've sat at this desk. Oh, now I've missed you. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's so tiny that it looks new than when I first bought it. Oh, yeah! That thing's so polished that it makes Maris jealous! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you had no other work the entire time I was away, detective. My job is to protect your office, sir! Uh, present body destruction, blood, <laughs> bullet hole excluded. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you and go. It's such a good job. Protecting it that a murder occurred in it. Yes. Oh, Sarah, I'm very well familiar with that skin. <laughs> Wait. Ironically, I'm confusing it with a different skin, which is even funnier than I thought that was from. <laughs> What skit were you confusing it with? <laughs> I'm thinking of the what happened skit. Ah, uh, yes. Classic. Uh, that's harsh, sir. I have to admit, the desk has never looked better, so I guess I can't dock his pay. Okay. Stop docking his pay, Edgeworth. We're, we're getting Please to the end. Please don't dock his pay. <laughs> uh, I know we examined this. Should I examine it again? I don't think it goes away if I Apparently we have to examine the Steel Samurai Man. Oh, okay. Back I just, I just missed him in my un... unsensitive scrolling well, around. Well, it's a good thing my Steel Samurai doll was spared any harm. Oh, fanboy! <laughs> Speaking of which... I still haven't actually sat down and watched any of that show. Because it's so exciting, I'm always jumping out of my seat! <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I haven't watched. What's it about? Well, I don't know much about it myself, but... Mm. The hero of the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo, is the Steel Samurai. And his goal is to be a warrior in Neo-Old Tokyo. <laughs> While defeating the evil magistrate. It's a show geared towards kids. However, mm -hmm. its high production values and riveting plot draws in a number of adults as well. <laughs> <laughs> the spin offs like Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo, and The Nickel Samurai, along with the deluge of merchandise and even a new stage show, gives it presence. <laughs> you yeah. sure know a lot. Are you <laughs> sure you're not some sort of rabid fanboy? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> of, of course not. Anyone that keeps up with society knows at least this much. And that conversation lasted longer than expected. Let us return to the investigation. I I read a I read an Ace Attorney fanfic once, and it had Edgeworth reading. Uh, Steel Samurai fan fiction in the fan fiction, and I actually got to read part of the fan, like the author made like fan fiction, <laughs> the fan fiction in the. It was like Inception. Wow, it was funny. Uh, I don't think we talked to this guy. <laughs> right up in his face. <laughs> Literally presses his body up against the officer. <laughs> Do you have anything to report? Nose is nearly touching. <laughs> <laughs> I read this line seductively, Ori. I was just paying attention too much to the other thing. Sir! Yes, sir! Nothing out of the ordinary right now, sir! Do you normally have prosecutors pressed up against your body? No, sir! This, this is a first-time occurrence for me, sir! And yet, there's something now the ordinary right in front of my eyes! Uh, namely you pressing me up against the wall, sir! Oh, we could just say a wooga. It's, no, uh, we cannot. We kissed a guy. Yeah. Talk about a contradiction! Something out of the ordinary, huh? I should look around a bit more. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 
Thank God he moved. Now I can get off this wall. Ouch! They even knocked over your chest set. Not the symbolic Phoenix right where chest set. <laughs> I had it all set up, ready for when you got back. I had a uh, that spiky head chest piece bent over that barrel that you uh, oh, no. had. Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> I don't know what the piece behind it was doing, but, you know, <laughs> I figured we could play a few games. <laughs> I had no idea you were interested in chess. You, you, not, not that you mentioned it, actually. You do seem to be a pretty good pawn. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, I'm Ouch. actually pretty good at checkers, so I thought I'd give chess a try. It's so sad that, check, that being good as checkers does not translate to being good at chess. It's very disappointing. <laughs> I, I, I like does. checkers. I just, I grab this pawn, push him over there, and then say, King me! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> not tuck, how it works. Tuck, 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 king me. <laughs> that face when you actually literally can't make a pawn a king. That's the only piece you can't Yeah, do. exactly. <laughs> hmm. In that case, I suppose I can set some time aside after we solve this case. <gasps> oh! Rose. Though I don't expect the game to text my mental acuity much. But you're still willing to play with him! Okay, we do have to talk to bro again, because we He's let him go- He's willing to beat him down, like a college bro going to like oh, cool. his like baby cousin smash bro party. Look at this, this look at like, this yeah, height I'm gonna, difference. I'm gonna wreck them all. It makes Edgeworth look really, really short That's next to Gumshoe. Edgeworth looks way short. He looks so short. Ed he looks so small. Tall. Yeah, I know, but look how small he looks. I mean, he's taller than the officer. Wait, wait did I say Edgeworth? I meant Gumshoe. Gumshoe's Sorry, very tall. Brain. Edgeworth's taller than the officer. I'm, just, I'm but... just trying to figure out, Nicole, what your comment of he kissed a guy is. That's when Edgeworth smushed his face to talk to this officer. <laughs> okay. The Nothing officer had an awakening. <laughs> Mr. Portsman, a word if I may. Jim, I swear I'll find your killer and bring him to justice, bro. You wait and see. It'll be for the both of us, bro. Now then, you want to talk to me about something, bro? Um, no. That's all right. I feel like I'm interrupting their conversation. That's yeah, morbid. bro. G give me a minute, bro. All right. Wait, I feel it leans what? down. <laughs> wait, I've always wanted wait, you dead, bro. What? what? Who, remind me. Who, who voiced the the murderer? Me. <laughs> Ori. It's this guy right here going, yeah, bro. He's definitely Ori. Okay. Was that the same voice? I yes. don't remember. Yes, it was. It was to the best of my recollection okay. ability. <laughs> With the bro voice, I feel like you threw a little more Terry Falls in there with the no bro like that. I'm trying, okay. <laughs> I only have three men voices and I've used them already. <laughs> grow more. I would love to grow more. I need my balls to drop and then I can cultivate have more your men voice okay. garden. <clears throat> oh my god, yes! Edgeworth 511 <laughs> and 11 twelfths. Gumshoe, six foot. <laughs> All right. I feel like we have to do the logic. Okay. Okay. Um, I what think we, we did. We did. I think the one we did wrong We're missing was. Something. Okay. Yeah, we are missing something. Can I go into the hallway? No. Let's examine the gun. Okay, let me look at the safe again. I'm trying to remember everything. Oh! I've already finished examining this area, but it never hurts to look again. I did say 11 twelfths of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked at everything. Hmm. Yeah, not on There's the keypad. Yep. This is, we read this already. Uh, yep. <laughs> blah, blah. So may, maybe it's time to start making some connections. What right. the? Why is there a fly in here? Okay. I, I'm guessing he flew in. Yeah. For so, sure. we're doing the logic. 
We have, my files are a mess pointing to a struggle between the victim and the killer. Theft. The culprit tried to open my safe was the killer's motive theft. Another handgun other than the victim. So maybe struggle and theft? I was, I was thinking struggle and theft or struggle and handgun. I think we did struggle did we a handgun that and that was law wrong. Work. We tried that? Okay, yeah. all right. Let's I think we did struggle and handgun and that was wrong. So I think we want to do well, struggle the and of theft. Well, elimination. All right. Ah! There is a possibility that the files split on the floor. Yay! We did it! Ah! Not the result of a struggle between the victim and his killer. Okay, I was Woo thinking that, it's but I was. Dialogue is guaranteed. Uncertain if the game had that whole thing going, so now I think I understand logic more. Oh? You mean like it could be from when the killer tried to find something, sir? Precisely. We need to figure out if any of the files have been stolen. Yes, sir! I'm gonna shell files like you've never seen before, even at a library! Okay. Um, sure. Let's give that a try. Oh. Oh, God. Why do all the good ones always die young? Surely you must ponder every... You must ponder that every once in a while, Mr. Edgeworth, bro! Mm, my... Von Karma lived quite a while. <laughs> or is my connection that bad? What? Bars, Hello? what did you just say? What? Okay, do you guys just keep, like, pausing in the middle of your senses, or is my connection that bad? You're bad. I think you're Okay, bad. good to know. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> no I matter how much we stuff, lament, hopefully that fixes it. the dead will not come back to life. So sad. Edgeworth knows that the most. Mm -hmm. the best. All we can do is search for the truth. Uh... And... So, what are we supposed to do, bro? How do we go about finding the truth, bro? First, we calmly restore the files to their rightful place. You got it, bro! Here, let me help. Then, someone buys me a new tea set, specifically from England, from this particular shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, after bro! That, I was I was smashing teacups early! Out of Yes, yes, and after that, we move what the dead body out of my fucking office, we soak the carpets, and then we put it back together, the city reimburses me, and I finally have my office fixed. And then Edward, we you, can focus on solving You forgot me. the most important part, the chess set! Yeah. <laughs> With the red the pieces surrounding part. the blue pieces! The tea set's the most important part, there's no question. The, the tea, tea set, set is, is the most important. important. Um, so this file goes here, and that book goes there... You sure know a lot about where things go, despite it being Mr. Edgeworth's office, bro. That's kind of sus, bro. Oh, don't you dare try to him. Pal. Okay, done. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, wow. It would appear that the murder was definitely committed here. Okay, but the hands are facing in the same direction. So that's not both of his hands? It seems hands. like the killer was doing a handstand and was jumping up and down my bookcase. There's a lot of handprints. How, how could you reasonably put your hands on the bookshelf like that? No, if you're leaning back and you put your hands down, the thumbs are that's inward and it's right. This hand is correct. Like with the fingers this hand pointing looks down wrong. toward the floor. Yeah, that's... Okay, you lean okay. up against your bookshelf and you do that. But this hand is right. This one, if this is the thumb... I'm, I'm literally in the position right now. Yeah, and yeah, like, oh, I keep okay, doing it. That makes sense. Uh, this, but if this was the thumb, this looks like a different hand than the, your The killer hands. had two left hands. Yes. Ah, the blood state on the bookshelf is still fresh. Yeah. <laughs> you have a handkerchief. I suspect that the victim was killed in a standing position, hence the prints on the shelf. I oh, would have to- Edgeworth, you have a spare handkerchief, I think you tie around your neck? Here, one sec. 
No! Now that is a good way to have your pay dock. Sorry, that's the noise Edgeworth was making in response to that. <laughs> he blew his lid, just like in Rise from the Ashes. Um, he definitely Did didn't die standing up. Sir. The bullet hole is here. And he was shot in, like, the tum-tum. So that doesn't work. <laughs> And then the guy fell onto the floor, right? The foot of the floor is kind of grossing me out. Aw, poor Gumju. Detective, uh, I don't think... I don't have the time to deal with your weak stomach right now. Aw. Uh, well, you know I'm no good with blood, sir. See, I'm just feels... a detective. I'm just part of the police. This feels so Emma right now and not Gumshoe, just... right? I this need feels the really to in the body. <laughs> I'm certain there's something wrong with this picture. Me too. Why does a detective have a fear of blood? Boop. I'm going to be right back in a moment. I'm going to rejoin the call. Give me a sec. Oh, Sounds no. good. All right, guys. Now is our chance to talk about oh. Mars. Is it working? You good? Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, uh, you guys will stop cutting out randomly in mid sense because I swear to God, I'm hearing. So this is where the bullet lodged. It does. Oh no, ironically, you got worse. Mars, you oh, after it went much, through like yeah, Mars. I, ironically, I don't know. you Mars suck now. Much worse. <laughs> Uh oh. Hello? Yeah, you, you cut out. <laughs> you cut out really bad. Oh no. Hang on, hang on. And How then dare. Edgeworth's third power with oh. Phoenix, Sea Deuce. Oh god. <laughs> so, this is where the bullet launched itself after it went through the victim, huh? For the bullet to be lodged so squarely in a file spine. Whoop. It indicates that the files were ransacked after the shooting had occurred. And I guess the victim was moved because he was in a kill's way. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Get out of the way! Is Mars alive? Do, do I sound okay? Hello. You you're no longer suck. Your sucking has Yay. concluded. You are finished. Okay, because no one was responding to me at first. You weren't talking at first. <laughs> What's happening? We are, sat we are satisfied. Huh? Hello, hello. The victim's <laughs> handprints. You can tell because they're in the shape of the hand. Ah, yes. He must have tried to support himself with his hands here after being shot. There are prints on the floor, too! Those must have been made when, unable to stay standing, he dropped to the floor. Okay. Oh. Wait. What does deduce... I've forgotten what deduce means. Uh, I've click forgotten it. what the deuce no means. I have no idea what deuce <laughs> Just means. click the button. Ah! Ah, nice. Okay, Is I remembered what the deuce means. somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Oh, evidence that he has? Um, uh... uh hello, hello. Uh, hmm? shot in the abdomen? The abdomen? <laughs> the abdomen? <laughs> The, abd the abdomen min. Uh, I think it's this one, because that's not shooting him in the abdomen standing up. No, that definitely... Is there another stream? Or sorry, another screen? Huh? Uh, sorry. Chat is saying swap sorry. screens. Sorry, my bad, my bad, oh, my bad. Oh, they can't see. It was me, it was me. Also, I think I figured out the problem. My laptop wanted to be plugged into the wall. Oh, well, you're great now, so... It's okay, weak. I think it has to be it this going one. funny when it's low on power. I can check. What does check mean? 
Oh, just this. Back. Uh. Yeah. Types, documents, discovered in my office. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna present it. <laughs> Eureka! Oh, thank God. There is clearly a contradiction here That's with this so good, good hole. Whew. Love you, Eureka. Oh, what do you mean, sir? Eureka? You're a car? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, you don't see it. <laughs> yeah, deduce did come up last no. stream on the keypad. I'm just brain rot. Quite simply. The bullet okay, hole Ori, we forgive you. Too low. Yes, the Eureka is amazing. Uh, no offense, Mr. Edgeworth, but everything below six feet is too low. It's just all the same to me. It kind of blurs it's together. It's all the lower <laughs> lid. <laughs> <laughs> if the victim was shot in the stomach, the hole should be much higher up. He ain't wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But what if the guy was shot while he was sitting there lying down, sir? Mm-hmm. That would be illogical. The victim leaned against this shelf here after being shot. Hmm. Which suggests that he was standing when he was shot. Aha! Uh -huh. How does that work, though? How do, how do we... Uh, that means... Yep, me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait. We're all gumshoe is... in this game. That mean, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm it trying. Means. It's worth three. You need to use your we brain every once in a while instead of mine, detective. I'm really trying, Edgeworth. Don't be upset with me. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh. Ori, Ori, they know you're trying. It'll be okay. Pastry puff. If you're like actually a prosecutor and you're at a crime scene and you're wearing like that frilly shit and you just yell Eureka in front of a bunch of detectives, they would bully you until you quit. There's just, <laughs> there's no way out. You wouldn't have a day's rest. See, see, the, see the, the trick is Edgeworth came into being a prosecutor bullying all of the, uh, the police officers first so that by time they're squarely in the like victim <laughs> level of bullying, <laughs> he can now do whatever shit he wants. There's, they're there's afraid no of him. way. <sighs> In any case, it means someone made a faulty assumption. And it was from this mistake that our current contradiction was born. What is the faulty assumption that caused this problem with the bullet hole's position? Uh... The position of the body? Okay. What do you guys think? So he couldn't have been shot... Well, he couldn't have been shot in the abdomen. It's so that's where all the stuff was. So what is faulty about the assumption that caused the problem with the bullet? I feel like it would be the position of the body, right? That's like the one I don't think it is. But... Yeah. Really? <laughs> What is the faulty assumption that caused this problem with the bullet hole's position? Could be the order of the files, if they were on a different shelf, but we were fairly confident that yeah, Gumshoe knew that where they were. Yeah, that was my first thought, but I trust Gumshoe enough. Let's do number two. Yeah, okay. Position of the handprints? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we did point those out as the big weird thing, so that, that tracks. The position of the handprints is what's causing this problem wouldn't be in this dilemma if the handprints were closer to the ground. Oh, okay. But the handprints are where they are. Up top. There's also two sets, though. And he... Uh, this looks like kneeling, you know? This blood splatter here. Hmm. But I don't... He was kneeling here. My problem is he's okay. kneeling here. It's gumshoe. But the handprints are where they are! <laughs> up top! <laughs> yes, you took the words out of my mouth. It's okay, they could say yep. it together, like a tag team. Ah, uh, it's the... Y yes. It, we are losing health. quite perceptive, uh, very detecting, as it were. Which is why this is not a viable hypothesis. Damn! Oh? oh? It's so the it was bullet. just a, what if? Then what's the right answer? The, the files. 
Hmm. You still can't figure it out? Then allow me to explain. Yes! Please, sir! <laughs> please, Edgeworth. Mm? We're at a loss. But we trusted Gumshoe. <laughs> no, yeah, I know, but it is wrong. Guess he didn't notice the slip-up. Although at this point, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, we, nev we never said we don't trust Gumshoe. Order of the uh, yep, files. Order of the files. Order of the files. Such I as believe life. the order of the files is a bit off. You mean I put them back in the wrong order just now? Mm. Hey! Actually, I think the labels on the files are wrong, sir! Oh. oh! Okay, it's the labels themselves. So it wasn't Gumshoe's fault. They, f oh. they screwed with him. Yeah! You see how yeah, the files that were shot begin with the number O? I honestly didn't, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What are those doing all the way down there? After one, two, and three! That's really weird! Huh. Actually, the way they are organized now is the correct order. They are exactly as I see them in my mind's eye. Okay, the, uh, I know what happened. I'm, I'm calling it now. Perp came okay. in, rifled through the files to find what he was looking for, put them back wrong. Officer mm. comes in, gets shot while they're wrong because the guy rifling through them didn't think about it, put them back wrong. I feel like you're spot on. But the numbers are all out of order. Those white binders are special, so they're arranged a little differently. But from this, we know that the files were not in this order when the crime occurred. Yeah. Aha, so that's it. I believe ah. the killer made the same incorrect assumption as you just did, Detective. <laughs> I don't want the meter Let's... to die either way! <laughs> Rearrange the files in the order. We never order want the meter to die. And see what we find out. Do you think it'd be okay to prop the body back up to how it was before it was moved? Oh, yeah, see, that makes sense there. Look at that now. Oh, yeah. They it's finished processing together. the crime scene, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. <laughs> oh, I can imagine! It's like the body is like arm around Gumshoe, arm around Edgeworth, and, you know, they'll do like the puppet, like to pretend that he's still alive. You know, that classic gag that happens in cartoons all the time. <laughs> all like, why are please, you making me think of weekend at Bernie? Detective so. Gumshoe. I know that he has like a hat on. Oh! And he's like looking down. But What's this I'm shit? Gonna, I'm just gonna say, like, it looks like Bro's got a fucking mannequin head. There's also zero ones over here. It. Yeah. Look, look, there's there's zeros over here. This, so oh. they were probably up there too with the rest of this shit. And it says something on it. And they all got moved around. Swoop 05? I don't know what this symbol is. Swoop? But Where we'll do you see Swoop? The first one! Skloop? Swoop. It's not an there E! There it is! It's the wrong way! Oh, okay. <laughs> Could be a two, I don't know. As I suspected, More like the, bullet two, but... the bullet hole is now where it should logically be. The killer went through my files first, before shooting Mr. Faith. There we go! Thank you, Mason. Mm -hmm. And then put the files back in numerical order, I guess? Uh, tried to. Yeah, 205, I can, I can, it's five? Yeah, five, yeah. I have to like exactly. sit there and try to do it. And then proceeded to shoot the victim. But why would someone kill a man? And then look through your files one more time! If they didn't find what they wanted the first time. Puzzling indeed. The files were thrown into disarray twice, once before and once after the crime. But why? Why indeed? To cover it up. Mm-hmm. 
happens. Now the crime scene is as it was at the time of the murder. Time to give it another look. Yes. Let's. All right, let's do it. Uh, I want to look at this. It's a ma. I wonder if we get more recreate the crime scenes as this continues. This kind of this. Oh. Oh, gumshoe. Gumshoe. What? I'm and that's sorry, the missing phone. Somebody phone. try to frame our boy. And that's the missing phone. What is phone. that? Why is it upside down though? How did he do it upside down? I guess wrote it with his back, like hand. Upside down, like you know, behind his back, like we. But did wait, in the that last was in the one. last one. They wouldn't yeah. just copy the same they thing again, do it again, would they? I don't know how else Whoa. they would write it upside down because those files aren't upside back. down. When your back's against the wall, you're right upside down. That's what we've learned. What Which does is it say weird. gumshoe on the? They're in blood. That's like I, I don't know. That's like a weird brain thing to me. Why it's just like your hand is built to write a certain way, not upright or not you know right it's just weird i'm like Does trying it... to write a g upside down i think i could do it i heard it upside gum down without looking it looks kind of like it says gum so yeah there's a missing file well, one of them is missing but no if you were to literally put like a piece of paper on the wall behind you and you had a pen and you literally just wrote like normally just don't think about it just write like gumshoe it would be upside down which is wild okay. like i don't know why it works that way but it like makes sense well, but it doesn't it's not just only upside down upside down and backwards too yeah so that has to be like a really big s on that <laughs> on the missing book that's the h <laughs> it's the I s and the h there's Part like a little bit of the H on there, and then the S. Yeah, oh, I S guess it H. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, your it's homework. me. Try drawing it upside down against the wall. See how easy it is. Bro, I'd say that's some incredibly incriminating evidence. You <laughs> would. You would. <laughs> yes, indicative of criminal activity, indeed. No, wait. There's got to be some mistake. Oh, I got to no. misspell my name, sir. Wait, are you accusing me of writing either? <laughs> but Mr. Edgeworth, sir, help me! Say something, sir! <laughs> it appears that one of my files was stolen. Is that all, sir? What about me and my situation? Gumshoe is so scared. Is this what Gumshoe. the killer was really after? He didn't even care about the file. He just wanted to get rid of Gumshoe. No! Okay. We jotted it down. Okay. <clears throat> oh! Go Yay! Up, go, go. Ooh, we got health back! Nice! That's always fun. Looks like Jim was able to leave us the name of his killer in the end, bro. And this most important message managed to reach us. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! You can't be terribly pleased to hear that your beloved partner is a guilty party, can you, bro? <laughs> if you're going to accuse Detective Gumshoe of being the culprit... You're bro, bro! I sincerely hope you have some proof to back it up. Aw, he does care. Besides the, uh... The words written in blood. Uh, yeah, Jim's face. words, bro. They're more than enough, wouldn't you say? No, not, not at all, actually. It, then at least allow me to understand your reasoning. You got it, bro. Oh, God. I like this one bit. There's something strange about this man's attitude. <laughs> and his hairstyle. There must be some sort of flaw to his logic, waiting for me to dig out. Uh, I give up with this one. We're doing something else. <laughs> I was having a time tonight, guys. I don't know why. Neither do I. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, what are you gonna do? What I always do in court. I'm going to cross-examine him. One way or another, I'll expose the flaw in his logic with his technique. <laughs> One way or another, I'll expose the flaw. I'm yes, gonna Sarah. get you, get His you, get hair that is murderer. Holding down the might. <laughs> yeah, that that little thin hairband. It's made of titanium. <laughs> oh, 
How do you do that? C can you explain it to me, sir? Uh. Yeah, might as well. Let's let's hear it. All right. First, I listen to the witness's testimony. And then, yes. after every single new page of dialogue he has, I'll press the <laughs> press that button. Uh, <laughs> At that point, let's try I'll this. go, that's not very Eureka, bro, and he'll have to explain it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can I be that was heard? Basically what you said. Am I back? Yep, you're back. <laughs> oh, Are thank back, god. Guys? My other laptop is being really stupid right now. I got like a white screen going. Oh no. Like completely dying on me. <laughs> your your original laptop? My original laptop. Uh, if only you had a. That's what she's laptop. using right now. I'm assuming. I'm using it right now, but okay, it was bad. It was bad for the voice acting. I kept it was peeking bad. as Pearl. It was bad solely for Pearl, and we just had to fix it. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, technical difficulties are over. I think I can hear you now. You can hear me. So we all yeah. good. We all Gucci. Right. I open the organizer and present the piece of contradictory evidence. To present something, I simply touch the present button, but that's old news. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's not like there's going to be a flaw in the testimony every time, right? <laughs> ah. Correct. And at those times, I need to press the witness Touching the press button. There you go. <laughs> Touching it with my actual Edgeworth hand. Ooh. Sometimes by go. pressing, I can draw out new information. And new or modified testimony. <laughs> Wait. It's not testimony if it's not in court. He's lying to you, chat. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I think I get it, sir. I'll be sure to try this technique out during investigations, too! <laughs> Very well. I'll even show you how it's done. Now, watch carefully. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, wow! I do like those, like... Oh my god! It's okay. literally the trial thing. It's basically so trials, guys. this is what we get instead of trials. Okay. But it's basically trials. Yeah. Just like how psyche just... locks are basically trials <laughs> I, in a way. I just love that it's argument instead of testimony. Shoot, talk to me. That's we, hilarious. We, we, for some reason, lost the license to the judge character of the games we created. <laughs> how do we How do we proceed? <sighs> we don't go to court anymore. Detective Gumshoes, you stole Jim's gun from him and shot him dead, bro. Further, you messed up the files to make it look like you had committed theft instead. Arg, that's why when you moved Jim's body, that was sitting in front of the bookshelf. Uh, but thanks to that, you didn't notice the bloody letters he was- his body was hiding, bro. <laughs> yeah, nice. And it will be by- oh god, bleh. And it'll be by his final words that you'll be brought to justice, bro. My bro won't have died in vain, bro. You intend to argue that the victim's dying message points to his killer. Bro, I can hear Jim's voice. Back from the dead, I'm a spirit medium, and he's calling for his killer's arrest, bro. You can't be a spirit medium. You're not a woman. <laughs> I'm trans, bro. Are you sure? You're not mishearing his words, Mr. Portman. The loophole, bro. The spiritual loophole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way Detective Gumshoe here is the comfort. I'll find the flaw in this man's logic. Oh. And expose it with credible evidence. Whew. Very nice. <laughs> Rebuttal! Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> okay. It's lovely and hilarious so all at the this same time. This has to be similar to how we did oh, it yeah. down. We're in. literally. Oh, what a. There's two extra buttons. Oh, a back and a forward button. Go all right. forward and back. Uh. I'm How not used to this, okay? I'm sorry. Did you just uh, have to scroll through the entire thing every time? No. Then you are used to it. So okay. are are we taking the uh press Yeah, we're taking we're taking the press everything route. Method. <gasps> you know. There's something I've been meaning to ask. 
There's no taps because there's no desk. I mean, there's a desk in the background. He he could run over to real quick, like one minute. Tap <laughs> runs, runs over back. the desk. <laughs> Comes back. <laughs> oh god. Wait, I missed the diversity win. What are we talking about? Oh, Portman oh, said something along the lines medium. of, "I could hear Jim's voice calling for his murderer's arrest." And I made the joke that he was a spirit medium. And Mars is like, "He can't be a spirit medium because they're all women." And I was like, "I'm trans. Done. Uh, I win." Diversity win. It's flawless Fair logic. Enough. What is it, bro? Why do you call the victim Jim? Yes, Mason. When clearly his name is Buddy Faith. Bro, isn't it obvious? Jim is the perfect name for my companion, bro. Yours is Dick, you got Jacques, and Jim. I don't know why Jacques is there, but but don't you get those two names to just go together like peanut butter and jam? Bro, His Jacques and Jim. Jacques, isn't it? Jacques and I guess so. I'm Portman, though. That's what I remember, bro. What well, Jacques? Jim isn't Portman. even close to the guy's real name. Oh, uh, Jacques. Jacques Sportsman. Thank, thank uh. you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We got there eventually, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. Or even I realized that one. Uh, okay. Yeah, and you didn't realize it was him when he walked in as the killer. Okay, we both got a little... We All right, our so now moments. <laughs> We're even. Dylan, it's your turn to have a moment. <laughs> Uh, okay. He has his uh, I still, outside I still, of the I still game. don't get it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what. The, I don't know what it is. Sorry. Uh, I guys, I know that Portsman is his last name. I I knew that much. But I, if all I ever see is his last name, how was I supposed to know what his first name was? All right. Well, Jock and Buddy, the sounds. Uh, off somehow, bro. Uh, besides, yeah, he was the third of a bunch of guys I decided to nickname Jim, bro. <laughs> In the future, everyone's oh, name is Oh, that's why he named Joe. him Jim, because they're Jim bros. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. It I was makes thinking, so much sense now. <laughs> I'm thinking about where Doofenshmirtz actually takes over the tri-state area and then the world and everyone is legally named Joe because he can so he can always know everyone's name how's it doing Joe how are you Joe hmm. he talks about the victim like he was his pet Oof. and he wasn't even a defense attorney oh <laughs> Do you really think it was necessary to dishevel my shelves twice to do that? Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, then maybe his real intent was theft, bro. Hey! Are you accusing me of stealing something from Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> well, it, I ain't sure not accusing you. Like I ain't is. calling you an innocent, bro. It's a possibility, bro. Maybe your salary's been cut too much by the. Uh, uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Maybe your salary's been. Salary. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe your salary's been cut so much that life is getting a bit too rough to handle, bro. Huh? Thought about that, bro? I'll have you know that I eat three square meals every day, pal! All <laughs> they gotta do is every cut it into one of them is ramen. <laughs> Little square! <laughs> <laughs> I really hope they make that joke. Ah! <laughs> okay, so all three of them have to be instant noodles, but... Yay, we all get to be right. Bro, just because the food comes in a square, bro, doesn't make it a square meal. Poor thing. What an evil prosecutor you were paired up with, huh, bro? And what no motive... And... God, I can't read. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and what a motive, no, bro? Guys, this Arr. is the sad reality of why it's now The Dylan Show. What? Uh, reading is hard, and Ori has given okay, up. Okay, fine. I will do better. <laughs> I will put in significantly more effort now, okay? 
I'm sorry. Oh. I thought it was charming. And why would you just put an effort now when we're like two and a half years into streaming Ace Attorney? I put an effort! Okay. There's like me following the words along with the Edgeworth finger amount of effort, and then there's me trying to read it like a normal human. Okay? <laughs> these, are, these are the levels. I thought maybe this would be distracting. Hey. A bunch of new people in chat, it seems. At least new to me. Uh, hello, Kenzie's, hello. Welcome, Kenzie's peoples. been around this week, but new to Ace Attorney streams, yes. And why would Detective Gumshoe do such a thing? Because, bro, the body was getting in his way. He had to mess up your bookshelf somehow, right? Anyway, bro. Prus. Hold it. Why do you think that the killer didn't notice the bloody letters? The body was covering it quite well, wouldn't you say, bro? That's how he missed it. But judging by what I've seen, it doesn't make, take much for your detective to miss something, bro. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, what do you, think you are! You don't know nothing about me, pal! So weird. I'm not your pal, bro! I'm not your bro, friend! <laughs> And he wasn't your buddy, Jim. Well, you gotta have faith that he was. Ah. There's a lot a person can understand about another from first impressions alone, bro. I can't say I disagree with him on that point. On account of me literally pointing to his every word. <laughs> what? Why don't you say something, sir? <gasps> Not you too, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> the betrayal! Oh my god. Despite his lack of attention to detail, I don't believe the detective to be the culprit. <clears throat> Nobody could have overlooked the bloody letters. And I can prove it. With evidence. Okay. Let's do it. I couldn't ask for a better setup, bro. For the game finishing spike. Oh, I'm a volleyballer? This does not way, feel like a volleyballer, does he? In insert high queue opening here. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be by his final words that you will be. And it will be by his final words that you will be. I don't think I care about that. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I don't think I care about that press. <laughs> I'm so used to the the steam port of the original that I have to press these arrows on the sides, not the arrows at the bottom. <laughs> That's what I tried to click, but it was in the click zone of the press button. <laughs> Are you that saying that those letters were intended for you? Yup. Jim was an outstanding detective, bro. I wouldn't expect no less from- I would expect no less from my uh, former partner, bro. Fuck! Guess the pointing finger isn't helping. No, I didn't point there! I have to start pointing after I fucked it up! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mr. Portsman still doesn't understand. He has yet to figure out the true meaning behind the bloody letters. I thought it was gonna be, he has to figure out the true meaning of friendship. <laughs> yeah, you don't just call don't your kill friend your Jim. kill your bros. You don't just call your friend Jim. Oh my god, did the uh, other not, two Jims- Not only that, you don't kill them! Did the other two Jims also die by Portsman's hand? Oh, oh he had to replace them. He's just them. going through Jims. Yeah. What are you sputtering you over there about, bro? Uh, can't you just admit my logic is perfectly sound? <laughs> yeah. Actually, there's a- Gigantic flaw in his logic. <laughs> Reveal thy flaw. A gap so wide, so gaping. Uh, that even the good detective can spot it. As it is, as he walks back and forth, that gap be whistling. Now to clue Mr. Portman in by presenting him with some evidence. Still gone too far. <laughs> Down the rabbit hole he has created. I, I was okay with everything up until whistling. <laughs> okay. So I don't think it's that. You stole from him. Mess up the files to make it look like it had been a theft instead. But that was kind of sus. And then you moved. Oh, but, but the thing they're focusing on is the fact that... <laughs> Let's see. 
Listen, th don't there's stop not doing many people it. No. in chat who encourage me. <laughs> no! Guys. This is this is opening Pandora's box. Pandillon's oh. box. Pandillon's you know the box. can of worms. Oh, don't no. do it. He has gone further in the path. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> Happy. Happy, is hmm. that why they, it was gaping? Well, thanks to that, you didn't notice. So what can we present? Decided. So he would have had... I, I'm going to check in a second, but I'm just trying to piece this together. That's when you moved his body that was sitting in front of the bookshelf, and that's when he didn't know the thing. But the whole the big thing is that, like, the bloody letters were very visible. Uh, Edrith kept harping on that. Did, so, did they spell Gumshoe's name wrong by chance and that'll be the clincher of this? Yes, he had to know it because the the, the folder was stolen after he wrote on it. Mm. That's what it is. The stolen, the folder was, st I'm not on the right screen. That's what it is. The folder was stolen after he wrote on it, right? If there is missing writing, the folder was there when he wrote it. So the person thus taking the folder uh, would have ah. been forced to see this part of the writing. They would Present. have been right. Ooh. Oh, that is a very Objection. nice objection. <laughs> now, perhaps you're not aware, Mr. Portsman, but there is a serious flaw in your logic. <laughs> Bring in the, a bit of the courtroom <laughs> into this, I see, bro. Yo, wait, nope. hold on. So, IRL, no one who's a lawyer says objection to another person out of the courtroom ever. I've never seen it happen, except for me. I do that. I was about to say. Yeah. I do do that. And not only do I do that, I was actually conferencing a case with my supervisor. I am a lawyer, IRL, if you guys don't know. And uh, I, I was saying something. I'm like, you know what? Withdrawn. And I then switch gears, and my my boss literally like pinched the bridge of his nose. He's like, "You say that in real life?" And you that he has said withdrawn? for years. He has said withdrawn for you before he was a lawyer. <laughs> before, like long before. That's true. That one has been <laughs> That's used. <true. laughs> what I what I think is funny is that uh, at least one person in Dylan's office is a confirmed Ace Attorney fan, right? That is true. I so understand. him I'm saying objection is kind of a reference as well, in a way. <laughs> uh, it's just me being weird. Yeah, but you're always weird. We we choose yes. to believe it's reference. <laughs> I couldn't help but find it odd. Oh, I forgot that was me. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. Yeah, I, I'm just the audience tonight. I got popcorn. I'm good. <laughs> Honor the fellow prosecutor will be brought down by the power of his own office. Well, what are you talking about, bro? Oh, oh, you're joking. I get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. Funny. <laughs> if you have time to laugh, then you have the time to take another closer look at this. He just holds up a fucking L. Oh my god. Do you still not see it? If not, may I direct your attention to the missing file? What? What? Th that's impossible, bro! What What are you saying? You're rocking my worldview, bro! <laughs> well, you're not the first person who's really rocked this night. But we'll put it back for a second. What's bro? impossible, <laughs> ah? Mr. Portsman? Were you coming back from a Phoenix yeah, date? Yeah, you, you met <laughs> with Phoenix first before you came to your office. Um, <laughs> uh, it's nothing, bro. Nothing at all, bro. The files on that shelf are all about a certain case. When the killer went to take the file after murdering your partner, <laughs> I highly doubt they could have missed the bloody letters written on the spine. It would be impressive if they did. It's tough, yeah. 
It's possible that they could have taken the file before committing the murder, bro. Ever thought of that, huh, bro? Yeah, bro. I think it's pretty obvious that the file was stolen after it was written on. I mean, the writing's on the wall for that one. <laughs> the writing's on the wall. The missing letters in the detective's name, where the file should be, is proof. Ha <laughs> Yeah! I mean, the S is gone and there's only half an H! Like, I've heard of double U, but not half H! <laughs> <laughs> if Detective Gumshoe really was the culprit of this case, I highly doubt that even he could overlook his own name written in blood on the files. It's a good song, Pastry Club. Especially as a detective who can't stand the sight of blood. Again, very mm -hmm. unfortunate. <laughs> the fucking <Whoa>. limbo champion. What's <laughs> <laughs> been fracturing his third vertebra? <laughs> Perfect pose. Which means, uh, what exactly? What? What did I make this dying message? Just the way I like my men, Bendy. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes it the work of a criminal. Be a Ferrex fan, then. I am. I, I wasn't done reading that! Oh my god, when you pause so long, you make me I think that pausing. I missed you saying it. I was pausing it for romantic effect based on my enjoyment Too of Ferrex. <laughs> I've I've missed it somehow multiple times, so I'm like, oh, Eric if this is such a long pause, he must have said it already, and I just somehow zoned out or mm. blocked it from my memory. <clears throat> but uh, that's so low. I can't believe the criminal tried to pin this whole thing on me, sir. Yeah, bro. Yep, you're the new Maya. Sorry. Oh, you'll see! I'm gonna have them a new arrest in no time! Another arrest. Let Dylan sip on his saliva? Fucking what? Ew, what? Huh? What? Who said that? Happy did. I don't know why. <laughs> Happy! On whose saliva? His I'm own! So Wait, that's actually a really good question. Whose saliva is happy? <laughs> okay, I... I am interpreting Let Dylan Sip on his saliva as his own saliva. I'm, <laughs> but also, well, I'm hoping that's the I am case. It'd be way and funnier. Concerned. It'd be way I don't know. I feel like oh. <laughs> we we have entered the unhinged part of yeah, the night, you guys. Exactly. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I wasn't ready for this. That's oh, I'm Dylan's talking about the pause. Part. I see. And we're back to kissing men. We've come full circle. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, Mr. Portsman. Uh. <laughs> Brilliant, bro. Absolutely splendid, bro. Logic deserving of the Olympic gold, bro. In the logic you not jump. strike me as the type of, type of yeah, guy bro. that would use the word uh, splendid. <laughs> Splendiferous, bro. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what Nicole she kissed a man comments in reply to. <laughs> I, I think, I think sadly the saliva. Yes, the saliva. When we asked whose saliva was you slipped it on. Uh, no, I'm just. We've come full circle at this point. Uh, we're looping back around. <laughs> why do you gotta make this sound why, gross? Guys, that's why this is the Dylan show because We've Ori lapped. has given up reading. <laughs> So if you want to start using the mouse to trace what the lines oh are, my God. I'm not going to... Fine. <laughs> Fine. I'll be a, a functional, I mean, no, please. Wait, don't click the button! No! Don't do it! I appreciate the praise, but it doesn't change the fact that your reasoning is flawed. Plus L, plus ratio. <laughs> Meh. You win some and you lose some, bro. That's how life goes. Glad everyone's oh, yeah. so cheery. Even though I feel more dead than alive. Holy shit. 
holy shit, Gumshoe, he, he's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> the Gumshoe Dylan spirit animal. <laughs> uh, but you know, bro, it really is a shame. I really didn't want to have to bring this up. Uh, however, bro... <laughs> <laughs> what? He removes the headband. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the bad news. That is the noise, and <laughs> I will die mode. on that hill. He removed the headband. <laughs> I mean, it would be a really good escape mechanism. Just okay, we're not going back. <laughs> I've got lost. <laughs> it's better that way. Cory and I just took a uh, psychic mental damage. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. What, what is it this time? Are you still after me, pal? Is that why you're naked? A what? Ah. After me horizontally. Uh, no, bro. Uh, humor me for a second, though. How does it <laughs> end up so sexual? Gets na gets it's naked. Dylan humor show. me for a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who has the key to this office, bro? That would be me! But Mr. Edgeworth just proved that I'm innocent, pal! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh oh, what? Dylan, maybe you weren't far off. <laughs> you put on more clothes, okay? That's very different. That's the opposite. <laughs> I literally blinked, and he has a jacket, or did he always have that jacket? Like what? No, he what just happened? put he like he just he put like, it on. He on, spun he around, it? like and he apparated nowhere, just... it, and he just okay, okay. And now he's victory posing. For a second there, I thought Sarah was right because I heard flapping, <laughs> but it was just his coat appearing from the fucking monkey dimension. <laughs> yeah, no, actually. <laughs> oh my god! It's, poof, it's here now. That's absolutely right, bro. <laughs> yeah, victory. And I yeah. know. Acknowledge your innocence, bro. <laughs> then why do I sense that you still have something to say? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't like that. Is too much. That it comes <laughs> off the shoulders, and that's a little too far for me. He's he's going too I, far. I wanted to do a muscle flex, but. But not at see, the same that time. That would have been funnier if you like rolled up the sleeve and flex. That would have been fun. But the way that it, when it comes off the shoulders, it's just, that's very sick. Got it, Sarah. I don't know. <laughs> it it is just the throwing me shoulders. because yeah, the we, we have the pink polo shirt for sports, and now we have like this doctor's lab coat. It's a sports jacket, guys. What do you not understand? <laughs> it doesn't look like a sports jacket. Got no. it, Sarah. It, it is a sports jacket. That's what those are called. Blazers are sports jackets. Well, the one, the type. No, I gotcha. Well, bro, I was thinking. <laughs> Did you know there is only one person with one other person with a key to this office, bro? <laughs> one other person? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hey, you there, bro. That's you, Mars. Oh, I thought it was the other officer dusting. No, that you're this officer. Boy, I feel like he's just fucking smacking the dead body on the head at this point. <laughs> it looks like he's fanning it. <laughs> he's using the forbidden marshmallow in order to uh, dust for prints on the files. I feel like he's trying to cast Revivify, but he's like too embarrassed for anyone it's to like see a him. like sensor. <laughs> Spelioramus, hocus pocus, come on, do something. Come on, come on, come on. Abracadabra, nope, that didn't work. Uh, yes, sir. What is it, sir? Bro, would you kindly fetch and escort that lovely young lady in here for me, bro? Ooh, well, this is gonna be Mars. Oh, crap. I don't have a voice. Well, we'll oh, see lady. her first. Bro, the girl is a member of this building security, bro. <laughs> Think of her as a... Material witness. <laughs> so, uh, the only phoenix down I know of is when Edgeworth had his uh, romantic <laughs> night before he came to the office. Oh my god. Yeah, he got off the Security? plane. Security? And then he got off. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then he went Se to work. <laughs> Se security? Did you say security? No, stop it, pal, don't! Is it going to be old bag? Oh, fuck. Oh no, my please. god, if it's old bag. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, if it is, that means I'll actually have some lines tonight. <laughs> in this officer. What's wrong with him all of a sudden? I'm just the officer in the corner with the popcorn. Oh, it's Maggie! Oh. Wait, is it? It looks like her hair! Bro, I okay, believe she needs see. no introduction, bro. I have called upon this Maggie oh, Bird, bro! A member of security, bro! When did she get- Thank I thought she left the force, back in the though. game! Oh! Ooh! Oh, oh my god! I like this outfit! A gumshoe shirt! What? It's just the gumshoe blue badger. The, the blue badger. No, badger. Gumshoe did he not invent. Him. He did not invent the blue badger. Gumshoe built solely the dancing blue badger and nothing else. He, the chief of detectives, quote unquote, invented the blue badger after Emma's no, 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 drawing no. of the vase. Can I? I listen. In the first games, we it, saw like a very Pikachu-looking blue badger, but the only time I saw this horrific rendition of it is when <laughs> Gumshoe made it. Well, she was wearing this in Justice for All. Uh, that was like her out and about outfit. I gotta say, I love this out and about outfit. It's this weird so seeing her. Better. This is so much better than Maid Cafe and Security Card. It's weird seeing say, her on the younger, angle, though. though. She looks way younger to me. Yeah. It's the way that her bangs are with the clips. That's the biggest mm. thing. It's just a very young look. I feel like if the clips weren't there, it would probably help. Okay. Voice. voice so, wait, voice. chat. Any of the Ace Attorney stands that like have watched every single Ace Attorney thing, is this depiction of the Blue Badger, the one on her shirt, that specific ratchet, hideous style that we all know and love, is that specifically the way Gumshoe depicted the Blue Badger? Or canonically, is that the newest rendition that the Chief of Police also made? I think you mean unanimous pass, Enthus. I'm pretty sure we all passed on Maggie, not smashed Maggie. <laughs> Or, or is it them talking thing. about the new design? No, take her out of unanimous pass, I think is what it means. Ah, okay. D yes. Detective Gumshoe, sir! Oh! Maggie! Haha! <laughs> Miss Bird is the security guard on watch tonight, bro! I see. And your point is? <laughs> bro, my point is that she could very well have used it, bro. And by it, bro, I mean the master key, which can open all the office doors in this building, bro. Oh, hell no. We ain't blaming Maggie again, are we? Oh, uh, what? She is Lady Luck. Maggie Luckless. being a detective? In an Ace Attorney game? No! She's security, not a detective. Sorry, I meant, um... I meant a defendant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Bravo. Uh, if you're not the guilty party, bro, uh, Detective Gumshoe, bro, I mean, then the only other person with access to this room is Miss Bird, bro. How dare you! I would never sneak into someone's room! Oh, she has a, a hat. <laughs> I want to see her I'm with the hat the on. Outfit. This is the best That's one so right. far, 100%. I refuse to believe that Maggie's the culprit, pal! I think this face makes her look older. Mmm. This entire Maggie looks just so young. I don't think she looks younger than the other two. Than the other Maggies? Yeah. Yeah, no. I think so. I do. No, come to Um... It was me! That's right, I did it! Gumshoe! Bro, can we take that as a confession, detective? <laughs> um, well, it wasn't really me, but it definitely wasn't Maggie, pal. So yeah, it was me. If it was, you'd have no problems with that, right? Please refrain from flying off the handle, detective. There's no need for such theatrics. Whoosh! <laughs> mm. 
Listen to your boss, detective, bro. He understands <laughs> what I'm saying here. <laughs> <laughs> Literally detective. does a fucking uh, theatrical mm. quick change. <laughs> mm. That girl's the only one who could have committed the crime, bro. And for one simple reason. <laughs> mm. what Make it more like... Oh. Or <laughs> Or make it more flashy, more angsty, more I'm showing you my pecs. Okay. But like, he's still got another shirt on. Okay. <laughs> like, he had the like sideways mouth, like, yeah. neck bite. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I, I need to make it more sexual, is what you're asking? Yeah, a lot more uh, sexual. Okay, all right, all right. I'll try it next Good time. Luck, I was making it like Jim Bro Flex vibes. Huh, it's pretty obvious, bro, that Miss Bird snuck into your room using the master key, bro. Mmm. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Is it, could you, oh my Is Jesus that Christ. what you wanted, Dylan? That man's fucking, like, sexual wave dashing. He's just like, I'm me. Mm, I'm mm, the, mm, mm, Okay, mm, 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 with the tilde. Mm, with the tilde. <laughs> with the tilde. <laughs> It makes its triumphant return. I need to stop laughing to actually do it, though. That's the problem. I meant, I, mm. Ugh. I, it's, mm. Okay, I got it. I got it. I just need a moment. You're not helping with me getting my moment. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, bro, he mm. literally be he literally be flapping. <laughs> if the mm, mm, detective take, Gumshoe is the lift. one who opened mm, the door, bro, Chat, mm, help mm, me, bro, mm. Then that leaves only Miss Bird as our prime suspect, bro. Mm. On top of which hey, she knows. Hey, hey stop! Stop mm. that! Stop flapping! Mm. Your, uh, stop flapping mm. your jacket! Mm. I can't flap mm. your wall. Get back to the <laughs> <laughs> mm, but on top of which, bro, she knows mm, 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 our good detective, doesn't she, bro? Mm. <laughs> yeah, victory, bro, making it all that more possible that she was the one who faked the dying message, bro. <laughs> yeah, victory. Oh, he is way too happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... I, I don't know. I guess it's like the clothing version of Jake Marshall's flask. Yeah, it is the clothing version mm, of Jake Marshall's yeah. Oh, definitely. Or as a, as a enthuse is saying, uh, Eni's bleh. <laughs> I forgot about those, actually. Or Meekin's... <laughs> those were oh, yeah. shorts, though, but yeah. Mars did yeah, that with Maggie, too, when we first met her. I tried, and then I learned how hard it was. Because, like, by the time you say, ow, you move on to the next line, it's like, oh, crap, I gotta say the line. Yeah, exactly, TD. Sports <laughs> is trying to get under Edgeworth's skin. So you're saying she used the master key? Ooh. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Oh, yeah, bro. Incredibly incriminating evidence, wouldn't you say, bro? Not really. That's what you claimed about the evidence earlier as well. I'm getting a workout copying freaking Ports Portsman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. Or I do it for Phoenix too. Victory posing. In no, I'm room. fucking victory posing. I'm fucking you know fake flashing a jacket. Like you know I'm doing all the thumbs up. Like it's all it's all happening. But but compared to Phoenix, there's a lot more like full body movements. Phoenix is point and, you know, hit the paper. <laughs> no, Sarah. Maggie killed Buddy Faith with the master key. So she's oh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Done. Mm -hmm. That was then and this is now, bro. The flow of a good match always changes during a rally. Ha ha! And mine is victory. It's all about your reflexes and reaction time, bro. Especially for a <laughs> athlete like me, bro. I wonder if there was anyone else, other than Miss Bird, who could have used the master key. Oh, now that you mention it, this guy came down and asked me for the key about an hour ago. <laughs> Check the security key. It seems that the only way to get Mr. Portman to give me more details is to press him. Leans against the wall. Oh my god, no. <laughs> What's that called? That's called something. Leaning against the wall? No, when 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 you when you like back someone into a wall and then you like put the hand up on the wall? That's called that's called something. Hot? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it has a name is what I'm trying to say. Like Issa I don't Shot, know the name. It has a name. I'm asking chat. Seduction. No. Saying seduction. <laughs> yeah, uh, comment on. That's what it is. Thank you, as drunk. Nah, that was it. The comment. <laughs> All right. I mean, Mars be spitting facts. Okay, I mean, here we go pressing. Here I go pressing again! <laughs> Are you sure Miss Bird is the only member of security? Who could have used the Master Key? <laughs> you wanna see me press it? You wanna see me press it again? <laughs> <laughs> mm. okay. There's only one person on staff at this moment. Mm, mm, at this time of night. Mm, mm, bro, and tonight she's it. Mm, mm. Yeah! <laughs> I, Isn't I don't that know right, if those Bird? Sexy anymore. It sounds like he's beatboxing. Uh, mm, <laughs> fine. Mm. Uh. Isn't that right? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. There's, there's. I when I was um, in my childhood home, my parents' house, I would like you know be in my room doing art stuff and working, and uh, there was a, like a lot of police officers that like sit near my house and then like go and drive around. That's where they like conglomerate for like breaks and stuff and they always like turn on their silence but they never turn them on like short or fully on they always fucking beatbox them though so you so constantly it's just like the that's what i would do if i was a cop every single one and it's just like oh my god i would try to like I would try to police siren in the tune of a song. That would be much harder, I think. With song, though. I'd be like, they don't, they don't the have different... whip, whip, whip. No, see, they don't have different pitches. It always starts at the same position. That's the problem. I could find a song. So you would go, bleep, bleep, not... bleep, 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 That you could do, but I mean, that counts. Tone. That counts. Yeah. <laughs> That's, um... True, but but I, I wasn't able to use the master key at the same time of the crime, sir. I had to uh, use a crowbar instead. I couldn't find it. You know the key. Wasn't able to. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, bro. Moving on. I'd hate to. Mm, um, mm, I'd hate to get sidetracked by mm, uh, mm, something unrelated, bro. Mm, mm. What do Sexy you mean, again? unrelated? I want to hear what she has to say, pal. Victory, but you know you can't really trust her not to tell lies, bro. <laughs> Plus, I hate wasting time, bro. When I first read that, I thought it said women. <laughs> I hate Me women, too! Bro. <laughs> I also thought he hated women. <laughs> Got another Godot on our hands, folks. Hmm. Should I also hear of this woman? No details necessary. We always ask for more details here, <laughs> boys! <laughs> this is a woman listening chat. <laughs> Not so fast. I, too, am an ally and listen to women. This is why we stand, Edgeworth. <laughs> Are you gonna read it, Dylan, or no. can I move on? See, this is you the problem that I have. <laughs> yeah, didn't I just say it'd be a waste of time, though, bro? We don't need to hear her lies, bro. <laughs> At least Godot is hot. Yeah. So true. So that, true. Yeah. <laughs> Godot, has got the looks. He Godot got, has he the got redeeming the quality, the accent. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, he's hot enough to discriminate against me. Is all I'll say. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can discriminate against people if you're hot enough. <laughs> no. But I'll be the judge of that, Miss Bird, if you please. I discovered that the master key was missing at around 1 a.m., sir! Whoop! What do you mean by missing? It... it, it wasn't... there. Ooh. As in, it wasn't anywhere in the security booth, sir! The killer must have stolen it! Mr. Portsman, 
I believe this to be an important piece of testimony. Despite not being in court. Don't you? <laughs> mm. I can't believe that someone like you would mm, be taken mm, mm, in by such words, bro. <laughs> Am I sexy enough, Thanks, guys? <laughs> You're just as sexy as the character is. There you go. Great. Offense taken. <laughs> I feel like he thinks he's hot shit, but he's not. <laughs> I Yeah, that's exactly the character. That's the but. Offense taken. <laughs> no, you're doing it perfectly. Offense uh, taken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was me. That was Edgeworth's voice. That, that was not someone else's voice. That was the same voice. Objection, bro. If that is the case, then I'd like to know, bro. Why have you? Why you have the master key now? Hmm. Everything. Why about that, have bro? I the master key? I, I don't quite know. It just reappeared all of a sudden, sir. How do you know that she has the master key? Because she gave it to us for yeah, our evidence. Right now? Yeah, it's in our evidence now. Yeah, like when oh, this okay. whole thing started. <laughs> ha! Likely story, bro. And where is your proof that the key was stolen to begin with, bro? Whoosh! <laughs> I bet you just forgot where you put it and then found it again, bro. <laughs> Women, am I right, bro? <laughs> I never lose things. I can practically guarantee that. <laughs> I feel called out. I, I, except I, I lost my boyfriend in uh, in a murder case. There, there was oh, that. Oh shit! <laughs> Lost some toys growing up. Uh, there, there was that too. But I never lose anything. With lost me, lost some freedom. Lost some jail that one time. I was in what? jail. Uh, what was what was Doofenshmirtz's toy train? <laughs> Doofenshmirtz's toy train. Yeah, it was the whole thing that the Choo Choo or whatever it had a name got taken away from him. And that's how we got evil Doofenshmirtz in the op alternate timeline. I I'll, I'll figure it out in post. Yeah, that's well, the thing, Choo Choo. I think that's what he called it, maybe. Yeah. Okay. With me? Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. Pal. Trust if me. If stuff disappears, it's because it got <laughs> stolen. You don't want to test just how bad her luck it. is. Yeah, there you go. He looks so smug there. Look at how smug he looks. It, it's the slanted mouth. No, I'm not talking <sighs> about Balloony. Unfortunately, I can't end this piece of testimony as conclusive. <laughs> nice. Glad you agree, Mr. Edgeworth, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but, but... You still haven't established Maggie's motive for breaking into Mr. Edgeworth's office. Her motive, bro? Didn't we already establish that it was theft, bro? Whoosh! <laughs> mm. I mean, the culprit clearly went through the bookshelves and at least, mmm, tried to the safe, mmm, mmm, bro. Mmm. It is as Mr. Portsman says, Detective. I can't ignore the fact that all the evidence points towards a motive of theft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm done taking blows. Now it's time for me to sucker my own. What? 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 Huh? What? Wait, That's uh, not what that counter... word says. <laughs> now it's time to counterattack with a few facts of my own. There you go. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that was a long press. I didn't even realize we were still impressed there. <laughs> uh, all right. So, off. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm, I would have pressed it anyway. I concur that the culprit's motive appears to have been thievery. However, Dylan is code. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Look at me. Theft is a crime, not a motive. But it c could theft not be the motive to kill someone? The crime of killing someone? Yeah, it can be both. A yeah, motive like can is. be a crime. Motive just means motivation. It's not actually in the law in anywhere. 
And it's not required a little, for murder. Little tiny asterisks. Yeah. So like you can prove someone guilty of literally any crime that you guys know of, and motive is not required. So it's not like a special category. Whatever motivates you to do the thing is motive. It's part of the story. Yeah. But think about it. If you're motivated by crime, mm -hmm. then that could be a motive in and of itself. Like now, maybe there's a reason you want to do the crime, and you might argue that that's like the real motive. But now we're just being oh. philosophical, and that's, that's kind of like why motive the... isn't an element because it is philosophical. Because, like in Joe Dark's case, right? At least the story Gumshoe gives us is that he killed someone accidentally and then he kept killing the witnesses so there were no witnesses basically so the motive was because he killed someone already a crime right that was his motive to keep killing people. <clears throat> you read this one right dylan i'm gonna ask now because everyone's been mad i at did oh ori quick uh Mm. Quick aside, you were right. It is Choo Choo the train. Nice. <laughs> that Duke Mertz had. Mm, mm. Glad to hear that the great mm, Miles Edgeworth is in mm, mm, agreement with little old me. With, with little, little old me. With me. <laughs> little old me. You haven't seen the last of little old me. I'm so glad the uh, so glad the thumbnail of that video is going to be yep. Ori with. <laughs> a horrifying zoom in on that motherfucker's face. <laughs> oh, it's gonna it, be, it's going to be Gideon. him with Ori hair. It's going to be Gideon with, with Ori, Ori hair and Ori glasses. <laughs> However, with regard to the investigation of the bookshelves and saying... The problem is, is we always... It's bookshelf to say that... What? It's bookshelf to say... <laughs> I was saying, I'm always concerned gonna, when we like person. try to guess the thumbnail beforehand because I never know what memes will be in which section of the video where they are based in stream. So it's always like a toss up. Mm, mm. That's what makes hey, it so entertaining. Bro, mm, mm. Good thinking. Asking for my opinion on the mm, matter, bro. Mm, mm. Hmm. Would it be too much for you to allow me mm, to complete a full mm, sentence? Mm, mm. <laughs> We're just, I'm trying to ask him, and he, the mmms get louder and louder as the flaps mm, approach the screen. Mm. Eventually he takes off. He's flapping so hard. He flies away. No, he uses the the wings from his hair to fly. Oh my god. Any he Monster Hunter players in chat? This motherfucker makes me have Palumu flashbacks where, like, that fucking screech balloon chihuahua is just blowing you back. There's a noise. There's huh? a sound with it. Yeah, it's a flap. That's so I can't wild. hear it. Hold on. Wait. You have to. Oh, I heard it. Flapping. Yeah. It's been flapping this whole time. But it's it's We've just been wild talking, to me. So I haven't heard it. It's wild to me because. If, if I remember correctly, there was no uh, there was no sound effects for any of the first three games moment things. Uh, Francisca definitely had a whip sound effect. Okay, that's it. Just that then. All right. Uh, did Godot have a coffee sliding sound effect? I don't think so. I have no Damn. idea. Now I'm blanking. Hold it. I thought we had established Detective Gumshoe's innocence pretty thoroughly. It was just a theory, bro. <laughs> a crime theory, bro. One hypothesis amongst the Thanks many possibilities, bro. Whoosh! <laughs> I mean, I had my doubts about Miss Bird from the very beginning, bro. If that's the case, then why didn't you mention her first? Oh, okay. So there were more, uh, more sounds in the trilogy than I thought there were. I think now, we're just now, talking bro. over all of them. Don't make that face. See? There goes the truth. Running the other way. <laughs> Let's pick up the pace and see if we can't catch up to it, bro. Hmm. I don't think you're catching my drift, bro. <laughs> yeah, Dylan secretly Matt Pat this whole time. He he had to retire God, fuck no, from please, uh, no. game theory. <laughs> <laughs> to play his attorney with us. 
Stop it. Ah, <laughs> uh, but we were in an agreement. We were in agreement that the detective isn't the killer, right, bro? <laughs> if so, then I hope you'll understand when I say, mmm. You get it? You get it, bro? You get what I'm putting down? Mmm. You get what I'm, you got, you, 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 you're picking up what I'm putting down the vibes? Mmm. Th that since she is the mmm, mmm, the only Pedro's one. like, no, thank you, I'm taken. Who could From Dungeon Meshi? What? Who Hello? Could open your oh. office door. Mm. Why are we talking about Senshi? Oh, because you said Senshi? I was just, uh. Who said. Oh, since, since... she. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Horrible. I miss MatPat too, Kenzie Fox. He is, Deuce. Don't you think it's a bit early to be jumping to. Homoerotic conclusions? No, look at him. <laughs> the perfect <laughs> physical pose. <laughs> Sorry, this has to be a short. You have no Don't choice. The timing was mm. too perfect. Don't you the mm. that you mm. Oh, I need to go deeper? You want it deeper now? Mm. Mm. Uh this got way gayer. <laughs> <laughs> it takes that? eternity, it always does. Oh, you, you forced me. Uh, oh, you I didn't tricked force me. you. You, you tricked it. me. No, you bamboozled no. me. Where did the trick and the bamboozling come I, in? Uh, you'll hear it in the replay. Mm. Are you saying mm, mm, that there's another way to open the door other than with the mm, master key, bro? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> It can always get gay. Sorry, that's not gonna be hilarious. There's not a ceiling on the gay limit. Oh, I get it though. Perhaps you had a had a fuck. Perhaps See, you had a spare this. made for someone else, bro. It's when the words are similar to each other next to each other. My brain shuts down. Oh uh, you no! Know, I have never made a spare. So what are you insinuating? Thanks for hanging, Kenzie. Have fun. Thanks for hanging. Good to see ya. Nothing, Thanks for bro. checking our streams this week. Guess I should have known better than to suggest that someone like you would, bro. Mm. What's that supposed to mean? Press. Wait, now we're talking about blowing loads in people's faces? Can we please oh, not? Yeah. Chat, ah. chat, calm down. Chat, calm who, down. Who, who, who? <laughs> Who? Said the said the inquisitorial owl. Thank you, Mars. <laughs> God. Anyway. Is there anyone in this district who hasn't at least heard of Detective Gumshoe? Um. Mm, good point, bro. He's practically a celebrity amongst us prosecutors, bro. Infamous. Famous or infamous? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really? I never knew I was so talked about, sir. Aw. Felt wrong. What? Oh, because I didn't Did write. Did you make a fucky? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Nope. Looks good to me. Have I run along then? <laughs> <laughs> We're holding our collective breath, you know, bro. Mm. For when you screw up so badly that you're literally chased mm, off the force, bro. Mm, mm. Oh. Wait! What? Is that true, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. 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 Is, is there a shit list? Am I on the shit list? <laughs> Top of the shit list. Uh, Am I on the blast board? No. Uh, of, of course not. <laughs> that's, that's hogwash. Uh. <laughs> Quickly erases the board behind him. <laughs> that's why it's weird out in the, like, the overlay, because... Edgeworth is like pretty close to Gumshoe's height here, but out in the overworld, he's like tiny. He, he stands up straighter oh, when like he's prosecuting and Gumshoe slouches. Yeah, but he's still not the massive difference that it is. Like, Edgeworth has more of an imposing <clears throat> you know, frame in this one. What you don't understand is that Gumshoe is squatting, like, his, his <laughs> knees are bent. <laughs> 
not the knees. This is the correct way to talk to short people, don't that you know? That is the correct way to talk to short people. This is how Ori and Dylan talk to me all the time. They squat. <laughs> Ori, I'm going to look at the title of stream, and if you missed something, I will mercilessly make fun of you. Oh, I see it. Ori. What they do do? Ori, <laughs> remember that part where you're like, I I love it's good to me. Remember that part? <laughs> Remember that part? No, I don't. Um, obviously. And there's you totally what, no record I, that you can... Uh... Do you know what I thought? Do you know what the, the thought in my head was when you said that? I'm like, well, if you made the mistake in the first place, it, it looked good to you at the time then. Like, is that really dispositive? Shouldn't I check? Shouldn't I check? And then I was like, no, I could trust her. I could trust her. She wouldn't... Yeah, go ahead, check. Go ahead, check. So, go check. After reviewing go ahead, it so check. carefully, she wouldn't make that mistake. Go ahead, check. Check it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I check. already checked. Yeah, and it looks good, right? No. I, I see and Anne. And Anne on both Twitch and YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about. And and. <laughs> no, no, no. And Anne. There's no second D there anymore. I Whoa, mean. Whoa, no one, no one land hoed. No. Until land now. I'm so sad. Anyway. By dying message. Enjoy being a landowner. You mean the cake. bloody letters that spell out gumshoe? I figured whoever wrote his name must have wanted hit to frame him, bro. Mm. And just the act of choosing his name is proof enough that mm, the two knew each other mm, mm, very well. Yeah, bro. But Mason, that implies the existence of water ho, which is mermaid. But also air ho, which I'm not familiar with. Harpy? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I feel like harpy is default air ho. Like, also What's sirens were ho? originally air hoes. Got to tell you. Mm -hmm. What's fire ho? Genasi. Genasi can be all of them. I'm thinking of oh, like a specific <laughs> hot fire woman. I mean, that's true. There you go. In, yeah, done. So in, got it in one. Yeah, that's a win. And thread. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and present some evidence. I would love to. But first, we should listen a bit more and digest what he's saying. <laughs> the bullshit tastes great a second time around. And press him for more information. You have to try something seven times to know. Okay. Now we have to figure out our shit. That that seems like seven times too many. Uh, it's obvious she snuck into your room using the master key. Wiped down the safe. Say, thievery. If the time to come, she didn't open the door. Then that's only bird. On top of that, she knows him. Interesting. Oh, sorry. We went all the way around. Let's look at our evidence in here. So we have... Alrighty. All right. So it's probably the badge. The only question <laughs> no, it's not the badge. Bullet went through the body. The okay. body was found at 2.05. We know the key was taken around 1, I believe. Yeah. And this was at 2.05. Okay. Um... Times are always super important to this. We don't series, have so the second. Just, um, I'll make note. We don't have the second gun yet, and this is specifically like um, a cop gun. Or is there not a, a, a small DS screen you're showing, chat? Yes, there is. Switch the overlays. Yes. Yeah. They're they're good now. I've done it. Yep, they can see them. I can okay. see them. And. Uh, each prosecutor has one in the office. Only they know of them. The prince relate. That's kind of sus. This is the sus. Mm -hmm. Only prosecutors know of the safe. I think that's the sus. Yeah. That's I think looks that's like the it. sus. How would you know about the safe? That's yeah. Oh, wait. Can you check out the keys real quick? What does it say about those? I can, but I'm going to go back to the thing. I, I really want to go there. Who? So if anyone was ace in this series, who is ace in Ace Attorney? It's a good question from chat. Ooh. Edgeworth is not ace. He fucks the shit out of Phoenix, like, all the time. 
See, the, see, we had this conversation before, Dylan. It's a difficult... It's a difficult line to walk. I'd say Maya, and that doesn't take it <laughs> off the, the, the Maya Francisca ship at all. But I think, I think I would say Maya. Ah, I know aces can have sex. It depends on what specific ace they are. Um... Well, Phoenix is definitely the Demi Ace. Yeah, <laughs> Phoenix gives Demi vibes hard. I mean, if you want to play that game, Patri, then you could say that everyone on this could be some variation now, of Ace. The reason, the reason I like the Phoenix's Ace one is because even though he was going to have the heart eye emote for, um, uh, uh God, what's her name? April May. They oh. didn't in the end, and so he was kind of like immune in a way and the only person that he was also lovey-dovey for was quote-unquote dahlia but he had like been dating her but it was iris for like months at that point in time so like you know he was dating he could Dyrus build it up to at it. this point yeah you're saying that he but... can you can have children but be an ace jeremiah yeah ace people have sex all the time Absolutely. that's what makes it hard it's like uh that's what makes the vibe kind of difficult. Guys, it just depends on how you feel about it. Yeah, it's just like a whole... But it makes it very difficult. If we're going into this level of... No, I know. Pastry, I, I know her. Uh, but if I we think Pastry's talking to Jeremiah of... now. Still. If we go into that level of granularity, you can make the true argument Literally every character in this game is ace. They're just different degrees. I don't want to talk ace. about Regina in this context. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. no. Who not? brought birthday cake? Get out! <laughs> uh, now Regina we understand. Does not enter the conversation. Now we understand who the vote was. Regina is in yeah. love with a puppet. We we don't know. We don't. She's know got much to learn. How does what work, Mason? Yeah, do we, do I, we I need guess, a little lesson? We need a little I lesson? I guess in stop, being stop. Mason, if you can have sex. We'll, we'll save it for a chat and chill night. How about it's that? It's not Mason, but yeah, we could talk about it another time. You wanted to see the key. This is the key. Just can't open yeah, that every could be office. That a chat and chill night. Maybe we'll stolen. talk about representation in media. Oh, what? I forgot about this! I, I forgot about this feature of the game! Key. What? I forgot about this feature of the game, okay? So I've noticed. <laughs> Jesus. It's the master no, it's key in every office in the building. Sadly, this, this stream is just not conducive to super long talks about anything. Yeah. We go on tangents sometimes, but for the most part, we want to keep it moving forward okay. for you guys. That was it. But All I'm right. more than happy to talk about that on it a is comic definitely... corner chat and chill night. 100%. It is definitely this one. Only the prosecutor knows. Yeah, that, that's me. gotta be. Let's go! Objection! Tisk, tisk. <laughs> tippy, tippy. <laughs> Do you wish to continue insisting that Miss Bird was set on stealing something? Mmm, why not, bro? Mmm, mmm. It's the truth after all, bro. <laughs> it was also by your logic, bro, that we came to the whole thievery conclusion anyway. That may be. But you must also be aware of the fact that the safe is a secret safe. Is it secret? It is it safe! The existence of which is only privy to prosecutors. <laughs> the metal's in limbo. I a little hard to believe that a hidden safe was a part of her cunning plan. The the medal he has, he has a gold medal for limbo champion. That's the only explanation. <laughs> but, but, bro, uh, <laughs> she could have found it by accident while she was turning everything else upside down, bro. <laughs> I highly doubt that. I'd say the culprit knew exactly what they were looking for. After all, only the bookshelf and the safe were targeted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Falls making his triumphant return? 
Wait, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Even I didn't know about that safe, pal! And that means there's no way Maggie could have known about it either. <laughs> then, then uh, are you pr Wendy. proposing that uh, the the killer is a bro a uh, prosecutor, bro? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting conclusion. That's definitely looking more and more probable. Guys, what is a gold medal if not just a uh, you know a guilt waiting to be unwrapped? You know, get the guilt and unwrap your a gold guilt. medal. Yeah. You, she oh, said guilt. I did say guilt she first said, because my brain literally couldn't do the words. But <laughs> guilt, yes. Ow. I took damage from that. He's guilty oh, what's of wrong? being guilt. Prosecutor. <laughs> do you have a different suspect in mind now? Oh, that face is so good on that truth. I. N -n 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 I n n bro n n curses. Why? What made you, bro? What? What's with the angry face all of a sudden? It's it's all my fault, bro. Wow, what the easiest you... confession ever. <clears throat> no, hold on. He's not gonna break down yet. What do you mean? It's Jim, bro. He. Knew about the existence of the secret safes, bro. What? Nandato? <laughs> what? what didn't you just say? We were partners, bro. Like inseparable conjoined twins. Only closer. No, no I keep doing it. I was doing so well. <laughs> You literally fucked up in the last two minutes. What do you mean you were doing so well? No, I- it- the first time I fucked up was two minutes ago. I was doing so well. That's what I was saying. And then you fucked up again immediately <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Your doing so well streak ended two minutes ago. Yeah, I was talking about the before. I mean, two, two hours isn't bad. Yeah, it's come on. Good. Yeah, that's why I told him, bro. I filled him in on the secret safes. Yeah. Wait, did you happen to say that your secret is safe with him? Mm. Mm. Then uh, that uh, means. Yeah, bro, that's exactly what it means. I, I know. Uh, I had only just told him too, bro. Obviously, it was wrong of me to tell him, bro. Got him killed, I guess, or something. Yeah, bro. Uh, uh, still, I can't quite believe it, bro. But the thief who broke into your room was probably Jim, bro. Fuck, I said it. Now he's claiming that the victim was the thief? <laughs> uh, and you were simply trying to stop him, weren't you? Uh, right, right on, Miss Maggie Bird, bro. Uh, excuse me? Mm hmm. I mean, bro, you are a security guard, right? That's your job, to secure it. So, listen, if any one of you played Werewolf, this motherfucker is acting like the Tanner player would, where he's yeah. trying to make everyone suspect him. And the second we accuse him, all of a sudden we lose. Yeah, mm. because we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but killing is going a bit too far, eh, bro? E even if it's just... Even if it's in your risky profession, bro. What the? You're still accusing Maggie of the murder? Would it be murder? Are well, we are asking? in Ace yes. Attorney universe. Well, if someone is breaking in, yep. you're not allowed to just kill them. So, But you they would not also be had a gun. Well, if it was self-defense, it's different, but merely them having a gun is probably not enough to be justified. Mm. So... <laughs> so yes, murder. It'd be like that. 
Yeah. I mean, at least manslaughter, probably murder. Oh! Yes and no, bro. I mean, she had probably stumbled upon Jim, who had probably drawn his gun, bro. I mean, I get it. It was self-defense, wasn't it, bro? Fuck, they're, they're doing it, guys. They're doing it. N no I I couldn't. I, I could never do something like that. N not even as a security guard, sir. Yeah, being Puppy Cat is really wild. TD, especially the actual like Netflix version is honestly even wilder than the original, and I don't know how they did that, but they did. So, just someone breaking in with a weapon isn't actually enough to kill them if you have a gun, you're doing home defense. But you don't need that much more. You just need to be acting reasonably. And you need to be able to articulate that you acted in self-defense. You can't just be like, oh, I'm defending my home. No, not justified. Uh, but like, if they were threatening your life with the weapon, not just by breaking in, but like, maybe they were pointing it at you or like coming at you, stuff like that. Then all of a sudden it's justified. There and it's are... like a very little difference. Aren't there states though that do allow you to shoot people in your own home? There probably is, but what, like you're, what you're your specifically thinking of, or something? that's different, that's different. Oh. You don't have a duty to retreat if you're in your home, but it doesn't mean you can resort to deadly force immediately. You still have to be justified. I see. Interesting. But yeah, the specifics do depend on the state. Plus, even if he was the thief, he wouldn't have a key to this office. Which is precisely why he would have had to steal it, wouldn't you say, bro? Oh, oh my god, his face. What is this? I don't know what this is. It's the lack so? of eyebrows from the hat. It's the lack of eyebrows from the hat. That has to be it. It's that the hat is like nearly his skin tone and there's no eyebrows. That's fucking me up. God, his hand looked like it had six fingers. It, it does not. It does look like God, alien head. It looks like, oh, whew, hate it. That's why the that's why the handprint was fucked up, because he's got this. <laughs> it was Jim who stole the master key, bro. Uh, pretty impossible for a supposedly stolen key to be here with us, uh, unless, well, unless you retrieved it from Jim after you killed him, bro. Mr. Portsman, are you honestly accusing your own partner of being a thief? Accusing? Accusing. Accusing. <laughs> accusing. Uh, I mean, I don't know about accusing, bro, but I don't want to admit it, but it's the only way for everything to make sense, bro. But then where's the file? Has he no honor? Mm. But then where's the file, bro? Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> Now then, bro, I think we're done here. The investigation waits for no man, bro. But she's a woman, so. Uh, I, I don't, I don't I, I count women. Uh, you would, would you people be so kind as to see yourselves out of my office, bro? Bitch, it's his <laughs> office. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't kick us out. This is Mr. Edgeworth's office. <laughs> yes, please, you both, exactly. <laughs> Hmm, whoosh. Ah, uh, but I'm the one who's been assigned to this case, bro. Yeah, you are all suspects to varying degrees and therefore ineligible to run this show, bro. Bullshit. Listen, pal, how many times do I have to say this? Maggie can't be the culprit. I love his little She's already been stomp. the defendant in two other cases. At, a, at three, that's just lazy writing. I love his little stompy stomp. Detective Gumshoe. Gumshoe. It's just so in character. Hmm. <clears throat> but sir! <laughs> wag, wag, wag. Wobble, wobble, wiggly diggly. <laughs> no, 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 Gumshoe. <laughs> Bro, bro, look at me, bro. Look at me. I'm the prosecutor now, bro. <laughs> this is my office now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Maggie's just watching this shit show. We have no choice but to accommodate his request. For now. <laughs> yeah, Pastry oh. <history> <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. 
At least one of you bros understands. Yeah. Now then, bros, if you could remove your s brolicious selves from my crime scene, I'd be most grateful. <laughs> Mark my words, Mr. Portsman. We will meet again. Why did One I read that? One sunny day. Man. If that's a formal <laughs> request or date from the legendary prosecutor himself, I know it's been working. I'm uh, that I suppose so, bro. Whoosh! <laughs> yeah, you like the jacket, don't you? Now, don't disappoint me, bro. You hear? He's Whoa. a tryhard. <laughs> to be continued immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely save. Please save. Why would uh, we save it? We're not going to lose. We would save it because we want to not replay everything all over again. But we're not going to. We're going to win. I'm just making sure it all works. We're all going. <laughs> on the basis cover it's not personal feelings pastry he's arguing that because they're witnesses you can't be both a witness and the lawyer mm, I see no all of Edgeworth's feelings are pent up in his office so he can't can't prosecute his when it's about his own office slasher Ori would literally cry herself to sleep at night and then cry herself awake in the morning she could not handle that <laughs> Also, also, I gotta tell you, nobody wants to see us have to sit there for 20 minutes fucking just going through the whole- Longer than 20 minutes. Hours of time. Having just to go through the whole thing. Just through all the if dialogue. We had, if we fucked oh, up. Yeah. That's honestly the much bigger drive for me. It's just the amount of time that we're sitting there stream and I have to like focus enough to not fuck up and remember everything. Like, like it's just guys, boring at that we point. We started this at 8.30 and now it's 10.30. That would be a lot of time to lose if we fucked it up now. Yeah, like just imagine. What is with that prosecutor? I can't believe how rude he was. It was unbelievable. Please maintain your professionalism, detective. A waggle, 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 waggle. I love it. It's so cute and tiny. Please be detective. Please be perfect. Okay, stop. This is. I'm gonna too find much. some real solid evidence proving Maggie's innocence. Yeah. Oh my God. You'll see, sir. Okay, that that wasn't a finger waggle. That was a something else waggle. <laughs> a finger waggle. waggle. A finger waggle. A finger waggle. A finger waggle. That was something else. I don't know what that was. Uh, gum gum shoe. Oh, I thought he said that. Yeah, I did. Oh, I thought all, all I heard was wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Oh, I didn't wiggle, hear wiggle, the wiggle, actual. Wiggle, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we've been kicked out of the crime scene, sir. Hey, SCP. Hello. Tr true. Well, happy to have you. So then, what now? We're doing it in t chronological order, not release order. Looks like my life's fallen into yet another gigantic ditch. What did you expect, Maggie? Just saying. Do not despair, Miss Burr. We can overcome this as well. Oh, I'm despairing! I'm despairing all over the place! After I specifically told you not to, Mm. Wiggle, waggle, wiggle, do waggle. I can't tapple it. I can't have it. Stop. Stop. My luck. Wiggle, waggle. Stop. Wiggle. Stop. Wiggle, wiggle, waggle, wobble, wiggle. <laughs> there are many other places and things we should be looking into anyway. Fucking end it, please. End me. Wiggly, biggly, wiggly, oh, waggle. Fucking hell. The uh, voice re doesn't help. Re really, sir? You're still wagging that finger? And it's been like a whole solid minute? And it's just. I'm I am just She's glad that it went back to wiggle and it was less of pain's like <laughs> pompadour boy oing. No, no, that no. one was very was much just a dick joke though the whole time. Like in the game, that no, pompadour was just we, a dick we joke. We were doing like wiggle wiggle. It was getting close. It was getting close. Wiggledy wobbledy bongedy bouncy finger. Okay, you're gonna press the button or oh, am I just gonna oh keep making God. noises? <laughs> I'm Why waiting for you to stop me? making noises. You're gonna let me keep making noises until I. I stop? Yeah, I'll stop you. 
don't threaten me with a good time on you. For example, this hallway. The uh. linchpin of his argument against Miss Bird is related to the master key. Wiggle it. In that case, his finger is actually just unable to stop. Like, it's <laughs> still going even it's now. It's a tick, he, it it's a really tick. is. In the, that case, this hallway is the perfect place to look for more information. It stopped. Regarding the mystery surrounding my door. His fingers are still. His fingies are still. He has to press it against his head. Otherwise, <laughs> it would keep moving. Am I the only one who thinks it kind of looks like he's giving the middle finger? <laughs> Almost yes. a little, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh. Explore. <laughs> This is a very short okay. hallway. You can examine the couch. Oh shit! Uh, what? A basketball? What Ooh, the Maxwell? fuck? Why is there Winston a basketball Payne? in the hallway? <laughs> Why is Winston there a Payne here? Yep, yeah, Winston Payne here. Come on. I love how we see an NPC and we all agree he's less interesting than a basketball. <laughs> we know what <laughs> he's going to say. Because what's a basketball doing in a hallway of an apartment? Not, not even an apartment. The prosecutor's office. Yeah. I never just... thought I'd see this old leathery thing here. Uh, Edgeworth uh, pointing at the basketball. Eh? <laughs> Winston. Oh man, he's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> what is a basketball doing here? Oh my God, that's, that's his uh, office. Mr. Portman's prized possession, oh, sir. My. That's God. his office with his fucking basketball hoop. A oh, fucking Christ. hoop? Yeah, Dude. a whole ass hoop. Even Edward keeps his tea set and chess inside the office. Yeah. I already also play soccer, dodgeball, and even tennis. Tennis is what he looks like he plays 100%. And not a single one of those sports is suitable to be played in a hallway. We'll talk to you later. Examon. Oh. A hoop. What is a basketball hoop doing here? A lot of hoopla. That's what it's doing here. <laughs> For one thing. Hoopla. Hey, didn't you used to be just outside hoopla. next to the building a long time ago? What? Donk. So when and why was it moved indoors? Why do I feel like this is going to be a crucial thing? <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but I saw one of the officers drag it up here recently. I don't think it'll be a crucial thing. What an interesting still, where Edgeworth is leaning back, and there's a rapid boing yoing yoing yoing, yoing motion from Ed, uh, Gumshoe's arm. Uh, no, can you stop? It's quite unfortunate. <laughs> You're horrific. I hate this. I'm, Guys, Dilbonk, please. That. Somebody. A sec. Gotta grab that screenshot. Oh my Wait, god. Okay. Drag it. Ori. You, 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 <laughs> trying to bonk. Hey, she's still <laughs> bonking. She just let it fucking wiggle, waggle, wobble for quite a while on stream. Oh my god. I heard that it wouldn't fit in the elevator, so the poor guy had to bring it in himself. <sighs> All the way up to the 12th floor. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, obviously wondering. we like the police officer more than Winston Payne. Uh, which police officer <clears throat> do you think? Uh, we'll give him yours. Okay. Is everything oh, alright? Oh, is ev everything alright? Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> I thought that was a policeman! If only there nice. was a label that would help us figure out who said it. If only, right? This There's is the clearly part where... no label. Or you don't cut back to when this very stream I spoke the wrong line. Uh, uh, yeah, we sure? Yeah, that's where you don't do that. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Mm. That is totally how we've operated in the past. Yes, 
sir. If you must know, I weighed myself this morning and I'm finally at 154 pounds. Go me. Can... What? Congratulations. I could see that weight on you. Nah. Who's yeah. asking about this hallway in this room? Look, yeah, right there, your man boob has shrunk oh significantly. <laughs> Bro, he's fucking, <laughs> right fucking there. feeling this guy right up. Right there, that one, right <laughs> there. Yep, I can point at it right there. <laughs> boy, yo, 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 yo. Oh yeah, you've really been working your pec muscles. Bounce, bounce. Oh, I can tell, yeah. Oh, thank you for you those, things, more... sir. You know, this suit used to be a lot more, uh... Well, <laughs> let's just say you fit well into it now. It looks good. Uh, oh, thank you. Also, everything's okay, sir. Uh, more than okay. Uh, you say that, Jana, but I bet he'd look a lot better out of that costume. Uh, a word of or... advice. <laughs> Stay focused. Or you may start to lose even more. So many people being horny on main tonight. <laughs> we're we're talking to Winston last. We're leaving him behind. <laughs> Investigation. This office. Um, twelve oh three. Twelve oh three. Hey Maggie, whose room is this again? It's Mr. Port Portsman's Portsman's? Yeah, Portsman's, yeah. sir. That is for some it's reason. It's horrible. Hard to say. I hate it. Yes. I want I want to say Portman, but then yeah, I gotta no put S. the S in the Yeah, middle. it's stupid. It's, like, it's for Sportsman. Right spot. But it could still be fun with Mr. Sportman, you know, but uh, the that S That would is be terrible. really on the nose. So he's my new neighbor. I see. I suppose he moved in while I was away overseas. Sadly, Aww, yes, I can't sir. Go in. Run away from Winston. Ooh, examine the bench. So <laughs> oh my god. You're trying so hard not to talk to Winston, and he can tell, he can see you. You see yeah, him, you walk right he's up a to bitch. him. You no bitches for the him. Pole, like, literally the bench before Winston Edgeworth came. Edgeworth investigates yep. the wall There's a book next. underneath it! There's the file! There's the file! There's the file! There's the file! Ooh. I won't rest until I... Perfect. I've... Inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Before I talk to Winston Payne. Mm. Well, clearly this was more important because. Hello! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's. Ah! Nope. Isn't that the. Nope, nope! That scumshoe! Isn't that the. Uh, if so only there were labels with names fail. of who's speaking! Now you can tell that was intentional because I kept going. <laughs> yeah, after backing up and keeping going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. It's right, Edgeworth. The bloody letters mark it clear as day. That one was intentional, guys. There seems to be a few pages missing. Uh oh. Uh oh. A thief took only what was necessary and left the rest behind. Okay, come on though, come on, guys, guys. If you were to take files that were nicely protected in plastic things in a three ring binder, I would have just taken the fucking whole plastic protector out. Why did I have to remove them from the sleeve? Because the guy Maybe he doesn't didn't want know to get which charged with a certain level of crime over the value of what he stole. And so he's uh. like, alright, let's. Less than $5. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are these zero files about, sir? I guess they've got something worth stealing them, huh? On account of them being stolen? Always. Not particularly. It's just a collection of court case files. However... The cases within these files are not mine. Whose are they? Ooh. Huh? They belong to the high prosecutor that used to occupy my current office. Mm. I have my reasons, but let's just say I was charged with keeping them as they were. Was it Von Karma? I don't know. 
That means the thief must have wanted the files for a specific reason, right? Hmm. It would seem so. Hmm. I don't know why he didn't just use Wetzlar or uh, Lexus Nexus, but <laughs> only the pages related to that case from ten years East ago Law. are missing. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Did you actually think it was East Law? Or in in the D and D game I run, both of them are parodies. So the real names of them no. are. It's you, you're making a joke, or are you actually confused? You said Westlaw and Lexus of Nexus is not was is it not Eastlaw and Lexus of Nexus in our game? In the game, it's Nexus of Lexus and Eastlaw. Oh, that's what fucked me up. Yeah. The order of the the first one fucked me up. That was the problem. Yeah. I wonder why anyone would care about such an old case. I mean, do we do we rely on law from like ten years ago? It doesn't sound right. <laughs> you think they'd make new lawsuits then? Uh, we'll examine the cushion, sure. A well-crafted, high-quality sofa for visitors. The stitching is excellent. <laughs> God. Talk about a luxury waiting area. These babies are also great for napping, you know. I could ride these babies for miles. You would sleep even out here, Detective? In a hallway? Yeah, boss, it's not any better than my own bed, which just sits on the floor in my house. Can't afford a bed frame, sir. It's just a piece of cardboard with a bed sheet. This poor man. Ah, uh, whatever I do, I always wind up dreaming about giving testimony up on the stand. As opposed to in your office, because I guess you still call that testimony. <laughs> but it always ends the same way. Be getting trounced by a lawyer. Isn't that awful? Why are Maybe you Maybe I should give it a try sometime. To envision myself winning, naturally. What is bunkable about what I've said? Uh, what? <laughs> Why am I being bugged? Alright. Let's go talk to the guy. The cone? Look at the cone! What are you doing? Uh, can I look at the cone? I don't think I can. This guy's in the way. Oh. Nope. Doesn't look it. Look at him run. Look at him go. He's getting his steps for the day. Yeah, look, look at his little... His little uh, Cravat just floof around. <laughs> Look at him so determined. Now those All are right. some jiggle physics. He runs physics. with such purpose. Oh, I mean, look at the- Boring. Look at the- <laughs> Wait, his- he, he, he do be kind of caked up, though. Yeah, so, yeah! Oh, this is Winston. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't even get him named. But we all know It the looks truth. like you're in quite the pinch, Mr. Edgeworth. Slasher, I said I, you could ride these babies for miles in a reference to the SpongeBob freaking It's a Rock. The pioneers used to ride these babies From for miles. The Krusty Krab Jesus. Pizza episode. <laughs> Krusty Krab Pizza. Yeah, now we can already bug, though. That, that was deserved. Pizza. The butt shot, sure, yes. To be sure, a murder within the walls of the prosecutor's office is no trifling matter. But don't lie, the we were all here for the cake. Mm, trifling. In the prosecutor's office, mm, no. Trifle? We must find, apprehend, chastise, finger wag, shake our head at, and scoff at the killer accordingly, post haste. And pat <laughs> our non existent pompadour. Look at Sounds Winston like Bill. the messy case you've got on your hands. <laughs> If you ever feel lost or you need some advice, my my door is always open. Okay, he's actually it being kind of nice. A really hilarious oversight. We have specifically made it, guys. Specifically made it that every prosecutor character is played by Dylan. So what do we? <laughs> this might have been a mistake. And, and, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And nearly every law enforcement character played by Dylan as well, with the sole exception of true. Maggie Bird. No, you guys have been voicing all the nameless. 
okay. law people. Okay, yes. But all the named law characters, aside from Maggie Bird, <laughs> have been voiced by you. And every single prosecutor that we have met, with that exception, has been voiced by you. And here we are, having our entire game <laughs> take place in the place where they all live. Uh, Whoopsies. It's so funny. I think we're about to make fun of him. Press the next line. How gracious. I will keep your offer in mind. <laughs> it looks like completely hidden by gumshoe. Who is Dylan this guy Dilla. again? Dylan was Meekins. Dylan was Gant. Dylan was Meekins. Uh, I guess technically. But we're not Rise gonna run bag. into Gant. Gant's in. Jail. No, but we could run into Meekins. <clears throat> we could. Oh, we, we need to do logic? We haven't done some logic. Hmm. I don't think these connect to each other. Culprit rearrange the files twice, once before and once after the murder. Yeah, Why? I don't think it's and to go. another. Let's talk to Maggie. Okay. I think that's the only thing we haven't really. Done Even yet. the basketball hoop is voiced by Dylan. That's so true. Swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if I may speak with you for a bit concerning this case. I've always she's been like, a she's big like bitch. fuck no! You spoke to the fucking bench before Winston Payne! You spoke to a ball before Winston Payne! And you speak to Winston Payne before me! <laughs> Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! A, a sofa? You spoke to the sofa first? To be fair, he did get something useful from the sofa. I didn't think about- My brother and fucking- I, If I was there. Maggie, I would never look in your direction again! <laughs> because I thought that she was like Gumshoe, where she was just like my helper. You looked at a fucking cone Wait, before, Maggie! You thought she was supposed to help her? Like Gumshoe, where like, I'm not- I don't have to talk to her, talk to her. She no, just helps me. No, she's- no, she's like a witness. She I have a security room. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. This is this is actually metagaming because now Mars, you're not allowed to to talk to Edgeworth. He sucks. He's a he's a jerk. Nah, I'm still gonna talk to him. I I'm mad at being accused for yet another murder. I'm three for three now. I've always been a big fan of the courtroom, but this. This is like oh a God. dream! A dream where I'm being cross-examined by THE Miles Edgeworth! Oh my, this fucking face! I- it is cute, but can anyone remind me? It is both me? cute and horrifying. I gotta ask why the artist felt such a need to make the mouths so big when they scream or wah or something. So, yeah, that's just eyes. an anime thing. It's the eyes. I've the past. But talk to me. Uh, on the three other- or sorry, the two other cases where Maggie was a defendant, could you guys remind me who the prosecutors were? It was Winston, Winston Payne, Payne for one. Yeah, we had Winston Payne for one. And the second and then, one was and then Godot. The it was Godot. Godot. Yeah. She, she's never been accused by uh, Edgeworth. There, there's no when, bad blood. Wendy Young bag. We, that means we have to hate her. We don't or hate Maggie her. Maggie Oldbag. Yeah, no. Maggie Oldbag. I can't. I can't let this chance pass me by. I must remember to ask her about the master key. All right, I'll do it. I should jog her memory by showing my notes to her through the present button. Oh, right, I still forgot we're in tutorial mode. Uh, present. What? Oh, these are questions. Okay, it's set up so differently in the other way, so I'm, I'm figuring it out. We hate Wendy Old Bag Slasher, yeah! In a fun to hate her way. Just like Lotta. Yeah, like. We actually hate Lotta a lot. We don't really hate Wendy in comparison. You find her annoying. <laughs> but yeah, Old Bag But it is sucks. a very fun when she comes around. You should watch the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> So, when did you discover that the master key was missing? By the time I realized it, I think it was around 1am, sir. And I noticed it was back at around 2.30am. Okay, that, 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 that sets up. It was just sitting there on the ledge where the security room's reception window is. That sounds like a bad, bad, bad design. 
Don't do that. Oh, it's really bad design, but I'm not in charge of that. But I'm sure that between the two times, it was not just gone, but stolen, sir. Ooh, logic. Good night. Good night. Wait, Ori, do the uh, creation of man. Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is such an important key stored in such an insecure place? Uh, it's not like that, sir! I like how I knew what you were asking for, too. We always keep the key further inside the room, away from the window. We're not that stupid. Always, you say. Except for this time, correct? Well, I admit that was a bit careless, but I have my reasons. I left it out because I was sorta of using it at the time. Oh boy, that is not helping my case. It was after I had used it that I left it sitting out on the ledge. With the window open oh and unlocked, oh lady, God. you're bad Maggie. security, Maggie. I'm sorry. Awful, awful. Yeah, Horrible. I'm probably gonna be fired within the week. She used the master key. Oh yeah, what for? All right. I think it will be in the dialogue options now. Yep. Well, we'll just go down the line. Have you ever met the victim before? Well, I've seen him a couple of times before when I had to go to Mr. Portsman's office. And Mr. Faith was always playing basketball with Mr. Portsman, sir. That sounds like fun! Just once, I'd have loved to play with them! It sounds fun, but the only person ever taking a shot was Mr. Portsman. <laughs> and yes, you can interpret that how you are interpreting that. <laughs> All Mr. Faith ever did was pass him the ball, sir. Oh my god, <laughs> wingman. And you can interpret that exactly how you're interpreting that. Uh, on second thought, I hope they're gonna fit in all that well with them. Use the master key. What do you mean by you use the master key? Oh, I had to use it to open the door for this prosecutor who had forgotten his key. Mm -hmm. Sussy wussy. Oh, yes! Oh, love it. <laughs> That's, that's I mean, great. slap my cap. It's my job as a security guard, right? That fixed everything. It's great. Love this. Love, love this. Love a lot. the cap. This, this, this is, is a good outfit. Now this, this is art. Ah. Uh. What is it? Dragons. Mm. Uh, that's right. I just remembered. The prosecutor who forgot his key. It was Mr. Portsman, sir! Oh! What? Please tell me more, Miss Bird. Quickly! Oh. Sure! In another dialogue option! Yep, gotta click it. Let's see, it was around 12 a.m. Gotta click it, just in case I don't want to. <laughs> Mr. Portsman had forgotten his office key, so he came down to security, sir. Feels like college. And that's when you loan the master key to him? Oh. No way! It's against regulations to loan the master key out to anyone! Good, good. But then he did his suit flash and she was distracted while he pickpocketed her. No, he he did the, oh the jacket flash to grab the key. The hair from behind is horrific. It's somehow mm. worse. How is that possible? How is it so much words? I walked with Mr. Portsman to his office and opened the door for him personally, sir. Huh. I see. And then? What happened after that? Well, he called me to come close up his office as he was leaving to go home. That was around 1.30 a.m., I think. So, in summary, for the sake of one forgetful boy, <laughs> you 
Use the master key twice tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see exactly what you're saying, Mr. Buff. Yes. <laughs> More logic, Jesus Christ. Superstar. So much logic. Talk about suspicious. Sussy wussy, in fact. I doubt you can say that you've never left your keys at home, Detective. Mm, you know me so well, sir! <laughs> Fucking gums you dropping all this shit in the snow. This examination of Mr. <laughs> Portsman door. Well, we'll do that after apparently we need to investigate Edgeworth's door. That was requested heavily. Miss Maggie Bird, correct? I take it that you are an acquaintance of the detective? She was under my supervision back when she was still in the force, sir. One day, she got caught up in a murder, and then things started going downhill. So she yeah. went... And that trial happened when everybody thought you were fucking dead, sir. Yeah. Just by the See way. See what happens when you fake your own death? But I owe a lot to Detective Gumshoe for introducing me to my current employer. Or so I thought until a few hours ago. Ooh. Right before I was about to clock out for the night. Bam, bam. You get caught up in this whirlwind of a case, correct? Huh. It's my lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's my life. Don't worry. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Oh my god. Uh, huh? Oh, we get Since it again! I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. <laughs> there was that incident. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods. Wow, I am really having deja vu here, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Failed at almost every test I've taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, she... natural and unnatural. <laughs> she wrote <laughs> this down on an index card once and just memorized it. To monologue every time. And now I even managed to be named a criminal just when I become a security guard. Yeah, how did Maggie pass the background check? Just saying. Well, she wasn't a murderer. Well, she think... is a convicted murderer, but she's also exonerated on appeal. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's a lot to go through in one lifetime. And I'm not even done I know. yet. And just when I thought I finally found my happiness. Aww. I wind up getting you and Detective Gumshoe involved in my bad luck. <laughs> it really is a dude. Oh, and she's the dead like man, a... him too. She's at the supermarket. She's trying to ask for, like, her cold cuts to be sliced extra thin. And so she's, like, trying to talk to the guy to, like, build a rapport first. And she just trauma dumps the entire time. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm thinking, like, you know, you Wait, go you mean to, that's like, not how you're supposed to order produce? Or camp or something. And they're like, oh, yeah, I say your name, your major, your hometown, and one fun fact about you. And she goes, yep, I'm, I'm Maggie Bird. I'm, you know, from San Francisco. My major is, you know, uh, security well, uh, systems and engineering. And I have bad luck ever since I was not. <laughs> continues, continues. You don't need to worry about me, Miss Bird. Nor do you need to worry about yourself. I will solve this case and prove your innocence. All I ask in return is for your cooperation. Yes, sir, Mr. Edgeworth. You can count on me. I'll do all I can to help. All right. Uh, do we want to present anything else to her? No, I want to examine the doors. That was all right. very, both Edgeworth said to examine Portman's door and chat wanted me to examine Edgeworth's door. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Uh. What is something suspicious? Anything suspicious? Name, anything? Place? Or lock? I mean, we'll just examine it. We might as well examine everything. 1202. These four numbers on a number plate alone proclaim this to be my office. Whoops! Uh, hey! These number plates slide right out, sir! <gasps> I know what happened! Yes! He switched them. He slid out the number plates to trick her into opening that room, not knowing yeah. it was Edgeworth, I bet. Yeah. Ooh. 
They have to be able to take the plate off when a room becomes vacant, you know. Although, mm -hmm. the idea that it can be so easily removed is kind of... Sussy wussy? Susie woosie? Eggs them on. I don't see any signs of forced entry. And according to the god, no signs of the lock was picked either, sir. I'm so curious what they would look for that a lock was picked. Maybe scratches inside the mechanism in the place that the key wouldn't touch. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe. I can see that. I'm like trying to find where that would be though, because like maybe someone's really bad at using their keys. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I can't imagine having like a lock pick that's not like a jam, right? Like talking like actually like manually picking a lock that wouldn't give evidence of just like a key being used, you know? Meaning that the door really was open with a key. Oh, you think she knows that, Steven Universe? And also, he could have moved the basketball hoop just as easily. Hmm. Did you happen to ask if any prints were lifted from the doorknob? <sighs> Apparently, the doorknob's clean as a whistle. Wiped, they think. Whoever this thief is, they did a good job of not leaving any clues behind. Prosecutors make the perfect criminals, guys. Don't they always? I mean, My is dad this was a cop, and he did like a lot of examinations and investigations for homicide. And he told me, he's like, Dylan, if I wanted to kill someone and get away with it and have literally no one ever be able to find out, I could do it so easily, almost concerningly easily. I'm like, oh, really? How? And he's like, well, I'm not telling you because I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. Yeah, apparently he's got, like, one surefire way that he's Damn. just not going to, like, ruin. The a screen can move? You get a classy door made of top-quality wood. It's sturdily made, making it near impossible to break in by force. What? It's almost... majestic, sir. I wish I could be as stately as this door. Cuts in Marseille. Gumshoe's just a door. When did I say that? In Rise from the Ashes. Oh. Just Why door. did I say that? <laughs> You'll find out or go watch Rise from the Ashes. Only Gumshoe would praise a door or something greater than himself. Aw, oh, poor Gumshoe. Being a detective has its yeah. own rewards, I'm told. And a certain virtuous value, I think. <laughs> if you live up to your full potential, that's a poignant trait that anyone can admire. Hate that spelling. Disgusting. I think that I might see. be the first time I've seen So you're saying it, sir. That me being me is the best thing I could do for everyone. Aww. I it's feel adorable. that way. Aww. That long pause wasn't exactly reassurance, sir. I'm glad it's not me missing. It's like, um, it's like I'm reading it, a, a, a gay furry yaoi. What? Furry? Why? That was, a, that was some long pause. Oh. Because the, the, the yaoi hands. Yowie okay, hands, I'm sorry. I guess. <laughs> I don't actually know if that's a thing, but Ori jokes about that. So it, yaoi hands are a thing. What do you mean you don't I know? I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Yaoi hands? Oh, they're definitely a thing. I don't see anything allowing me to move further on the screen. Just saying. We're, we're trying. But, um. Dilbar. What did I do? Everything. Always. All you the stuff. Know all the time. You did. Room 1203. I take it that this is Mr. Portsman's office. That does not look like a three. There's that... Th those pixels don't make anything resembling a three, guys. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> they literally took the two, but just like... They added, added a couple, a couple pictures at the, the end. Like, in the wrong in the spot. Middle. It's not right. Hey! 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can't mistake it because of that basketball hoop, sir. Totally moves it. Oh, that reminds no me. <laughs> Mr. Portsman had actually wanted room 1202 really badly. But since you were already occupying it, Mr. Edgeworth, we put him next door, sir. So why was Mr. Portsman so particular about getting room 1202? I'm not sure, but I bet it's because of something like his birthday is December 2nd? Numerology, it would be five. I don't know what five means. Yep, that's gotta be it. I can't think of another reason why. Yep, no, no other reason, Gumshoe. Yep, yep, yep. I can think of at least three. But why am I even wasting time thinking about this? <laughs> because we're logicking, <laughs> Edgeworth. We're logicking. Good night, Happy. Good night, Good Happy. Good to have you with us. Okay, we'll examine this. It's Mr. Portsman's personal basketball hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's never not going to be hilarious. Dylan, does your office have someone with a personal basketball hoop? Not that I know of. Mm. I can't well, believe you put something like this in the hallway of a prosecutor's office. You have to go away on vacation, apparently, abroad for a long time, then come back. Then someone will have put a hoop in, in the office. That's how it works. Mm. But you know... It's actually pretty useful, sir. God, imagine having ceilings high enough I mean, you for can a get exercise hoop. at work. I mean, if it was we be ballin', so mm -hmm. it might be there. And I haven't been inside everyone's office, so they someone no, might have. There's a chance, secret, secret hoop, secret hoop, secret hoop, secret hoop. I haven't gotten lost secret trying to get to your office since it's been here. Play basketball. How long have I had the same office? And yet you still managed to get lost? In, 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 in your office. Put some on. Indoors. 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 The door is locked tight. <laughs> I'll bet the old credit card trick wouldn't work here, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Hopefully not. I don't think it works on this most This is the of office anyway. of High Prosecutor, Detective. These doors would be pretty ineffective if the average cat burglar could get through them. I have a question, Dylan. If they taught you this in why is it called a cat burglar if they're not stealing cats? <laughs> they did not teach us that in law. They're not burgling your turts, you know? You can Google it, and the answer will be the first result. But they didn't teach it to me in law school. Aha! Uh -huh. So I guess only a great cat burglar could get in! That must be who a culprit is! Just because cats are quiet and sneaky, and so are those kinds of burglars. It's when you specifically break into, like, an animal shelter, and you take all the cats. <laughs> yeah, you burgled their turts, but it's cats. They burgled their kitties. All the kitties. <laughs> Might I advise you to return the conclusion to whatever pawn shop you bought? Oh my from? god. Right. That's such a sassy line. It is. Is this... I don't know. A minimalist, yet this. classy door. Made of top quality wood. It's kind of majestic. I was trying to see if it was the same. It was the same. This is not. No, good. none of it was the same. Oh. It, it was talking about being Portsman's store, so it was a little. Now different. this is. Last one wasn't. The whole of it was different. I'm sorry. Time for some cloud music, editor. It happens to all of us. Even as the Portsman seems dignified, just because he works by one of these. Nonsense. A man doesn't become more or less dignified because of where he works. Well, 
He still <laughs> seems more dignified than Mr. Payne. Uh, wow. turns to the right. No offense, Mr. Payne. Mr. All Payne? of it taken. I suppose custodial work can also be oh dignified. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn. I'm sorry, did Payne get demoted and we uh, just didn't know? No, Look, Edris doesn't know who he is. You can read it now. Oh. No, I'm good. No, read it now. Delete it, it now. Now, got it. <laughs> it's really maj kind of majestic, too. Fits in really well with the ambiance in the prosecutor's offices. Oh, yep. Thank you. I heard the stepping, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, like, right. oh, there she goes. We needed the sound is, is bit. Mr. Is Mr. Payne trying to feel where his head dick was, but it's gone? Yeah, he's 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 imagining where it was. He's trying to bedoying it. Yeah, he really he is. There's nothing left it's to not bedoying. Bedoingable. Okay. Okay. Let's do Master it. Master key was stolen at this time. Used the master key. I feel I mean, like you could connect stolen and used. Yeah, it's almost yeah. too easy, but you, yeah. you should try. Yeah. Connect! Brain blast! Miss Bird, I'm afraid there's a flaw in your story. Uh, what? It, no way, pal! I, I mean, uh, sir! Aww. I didn't say pal! You said that you locked up Mr. Portman's office at around 1.30 a.m., correct? However, the master key had already been stolen at that time. Wow! Oh, nothing gets by you, Mr. Edgeworth! You saw that contradiction like a pro! I had totally forgot all about that! But thanks to you, I remember it now! You're right! It was around that very time that I realized the master key was missing. And? Well, I'm a security guard, sir. I couldn't just admit to losing the master key, could I? I'd be fired immediately. So I... I pretended to lock up his room, sir. Wow, that sounds uh... bad. You... Pretended? Yeah, I used my, oh my house god. key and made it look like I was locking up, sir. Oh my god. So, in actuality, you never did relock the door, then? Interesting, Induce. Very specific, then. Well, I thought that maybe I could go lock it after I found the key. Jesus, Maggie. Come to think of it, I guess the door still hasn't been locked properly. But we just said that his door was locked up tight. Why are you trying to make it weird? What are you doing? What are you doing? Contradictions. Why are you being Portsman randomly getting sexual? <laughs> what? Do you have more logic now? I don't. Nope. How sad. I think we got some more things we need to uncover. To uncover Just more shit? Ori, what are you doing? Chat asks. Or or talk to uh, Maggie. Maybe there's more what, dialogue What do you mean, option? Ori, what am I doing? The game. Nope. Present. Congrats. Maybe talk to Gumshoe? Maybe d present the door again? Mm. Now I'll get logic. I've had to open Mr. Portsman's office up for him a number of times before. Ooh. All right, I will talk to Gumshoe. I've also had the chance to see the inside of his office on a number of occasions, too. Yeah, super sussy, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. He's got shelves upon shelves of sports memorabilia, trophies, and awards in it. Th this is clearly a man that peaked in high school. Almost to the point where it's almost beyond gaudy, sir. 
but maybe I just feel that way because I'm jealous since I don't have even a single one. Oof. Don't say that, Maggie. Huh. I'll make a special God of the Month award just for you. I Aww. love that Gumshoe's a little crafty boy. I love it. Thanks for trying, but I've already got a mountain of consolation prizes, sir. Oof. They're proof of just how unbelievably unlucky my life has been. Plus, getting an award from you just isn't the same as Oof. getting a real award, sir. Oof. Uh -huh. Big the damage. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. That's really it. Okay, yeah, we gotta talk to Gumshoe. That was that okay. was okay. Let's do it. Let's talk to Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Ah. Ace Investigator! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, you look rather intrigued by something. You care to share? No! Share with the class. <laughs> ah, it's nothing. But I noticed that Mr. Portsman calls his partner Jim. Is he gonna ask Edgeworth for a nickname? Aww. And the detective in the Sunday night drama, All My Cops, is named Jim, too. <laughs> I bet one of them is a big fan of that show. Ah. Uh. You seem to know a little something about it yourself. I take it you watch it, too? Of course! The tight bond uh. of friendship between prosecutor and detective is great, sir. Ah, uh. ah. Uh. I wish it was, uh, I wish it was like that in real life, too. This, this is it the is. kind of lore we need. This is too good. <laughs> but it's nothing compared to the super strong friendship we have. Ho ho ho! Uh. Um, oh no! F friendship, detective? I think you're Edward. mistaking it with pity. Edward, you're not allowed to make Edward. that face and say this bullshit, okay? Huh, oh. How could you say that, Zark? After everything we've been through, <laughs> oh. Oh. Edward, I liked you, but you just, just be so mean to the boy. Oh. He's, he's just too cool for school. He's clearly a tsundere. He is a tsundere. He is a tsundere. <clears throat> Pokes Detective Gumshoe in the chest. Squish, squish. I assume you understand how to conduct investigations, ah. detective. Of course, sir! It's part of the, the game! <laughs> examine things by tapping them, or by touching the examine button! Uh-huh. Oh, I can tap them. By checking various things out, we gather evidence, information... Just touch the organizer button! Okay, okay, I can tap them. And, uh, for information... Uh, Alright, cool. I don't need this tutorial, but... Okay. Yes, yes. So that's all uh, just explaining okay. stuff. Um, that's, yeah, this is all explaining stuff. Okay, um... I can tap stuff? Not really. Oh, profiles. Can I present profiles to people? Can, oh. can I talk to You've Winston Payne heard. further and present shit to him? Or is he? Maybe. It looks like you're in quite the pinch, Mr. Edgeworth. Nah, we already heard this. Mm-hmm. Oh, sigh. Uh-huh. I examined that. I examined that. I did that. Nothing. I did that. Can I examine this door? No. Try to open the door of the other prosecutor? I... I can't use the key on it, can I? Deduce! Fuck! I forgot about deduce! Oh, I forgot about that. Fuck! 
Okay, that's my problem. Deduce at the did you lock. Examine the door. The, 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 the... I did examine it before. I have to deduce because is this spot somehow connected? Yes. This is the fucking shit. Mm. Okay. No, you're not going to read it? Oh, I have to read it every time. Yes. We don't have to if we don't want to. Point out the contradiction. Contradiction is something about the key that it was always like. What is this one? Bird unlocked the door, but it was stolen. Could not lock it up, and it is locked. So present. Skrblat! Eureka! Nice. There's a contradiction between reality and the evidence. Nice. If what Miss Bird has said is true... Then why is this door locked tight? Bitchin. Huh? You know, you're right! I forgot about the deuce. Miss Bird. That's the one we forget about the most. Are you because sure it has to you come didn't relock this door? Get information, and I have to examine again. I'm just not used to it yet. Mm. I am certain of it, sir. And I don't think Mr. Portsman noticed it himself that I hadn't. Which means, uh, what, what, sir? <laughs> yeah, that means that he actually does have the key to his office. Or that the door Miss Bird opened wasn't this one at all. Number plate. But a completely were... different one. So which? Yep. She opened a different door? Probably to prove that. There's an easy way to find out. All I need to do is logic. <laughs> All I need to do is use my the brain. The prints on the number plate. Yep. Skrblat. It's gotta be. The prints on the number plate. They will tell us all that we need to know. <laughs> yeah, really, pastry buff. <laughs> my prints are all over my office mate's name plates. Yeah. Well, don't be, uh, have a good alibi if someone murders someone in your office mate's office. You know? Yeah. Everything! Real. Really? Like what, sir? Yep, well, we're gonna, once this enthuse. We may not find out, Miss Bird, because it's time. It mm -hmm. is time. What? What? Oh, well. Like? Well, for example, and such as... What? Well, we know for sure that Detective's Gumshoe's dinner will only consist of instant noodles. Oh no! Wow! That was amazing, sir! How'd you know? I'm upset. Was that supposed to be a joke to cheer me up, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, that's it. Now then, we should get back to doing what we need to do, and that is... Uh, uh, the key then, I guess. Yeah? Yeah, because mm. the door is scrubbed. Yeah, so the key itself. Ah, I thought we got it in one! If we examine the I? fingerprints of the master key... Well, if that's what you want to examine, sir... That was the very first thing we did! Fuck! I can tell you that we didn't find any prints other than oh Maggie's. Oh my god. The process so of it's elimination. The it's the doorknob. What the fuck? I What the fuck? I, I didn't like this one. Right down. That's so brilliant, Mr. Edgeworth! Oh god. So what we can deduce from that? So what- Oh, what can we deduce from that? See, it's hard to read. Uh, it is wow. hard to read. I'll tell you what I've deduced. Yes. I think this means that the culprit wiped their prints off. Yes, that's exactly it. I'm glad you were able to come to the same conclusion. Oh my god. However, the more important matter is... Hey, we got upsetting. a lot of oh. interaction. Elimination. Doorknob! Oh, fuck! <laughs> the print of the doorknob. My first guess. Yep. <laughs> Got it, first try! <laughs> yeah, first hey, try! Yeah, you, pal! 
do us a favor and see what you can lift from this, okay? So, what'd you find out? Okay, this is my cop, forensics yep. cop. There's no need for such belligerent nostril flaring, detective. Oh, his <laughs> outfit's different, actually. He's got, like, boots on, and he doesn't have, oh, like, the tie. Like, his outfit's yeah. different. It is. Sir, I have found only Mr. Portman's and Miss Fate's print. Mr. Fate's print Miss? on this doorknob. I'm sorry, there's a lot of S's, sir. <laughs> so only two people's prints were found on this, huh? That's pretty decisive. Mm. Mm. All right, I see where they went. Huh? I'm I'm lost, sir. You're in a building, detective. Logically, <laughs> logically thinking, a certain other person's prints should be on this knob as well. Oh, Maggie this is easy. Bird. Yes, Maggie Bird. Present. Nice. <laughs> Gotta find where the present button went. Yeah, it's in Do a weird spot. Do you find that the prints of the person who unlocked this door are absent? You, you mean, you have to touch the door knob to unlock a door? Mm. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Dylan, our How? door is weird. Our door is, okay, our door is weird that if you continue to turn the key after unlocking, it actually, it, 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 it like opens the door. I don't know why. I've never experienced a door like this, but uh, it does do that, and it's weird. That's hilarious. Yes, the door that Miss Bird opened could not have been this one, but a different one altogether. Yay! Oh! A perfect place to stop with evidence. We got it, you guys. First oh try. Oh my god, they keep talking. <laughs> Save the game. You can save. I guess I can. You've been accidentally saving so often. And now you won't do it now? You I can don't... do it for real life. I feel like for whatever reason it wouldn't allow me to save in the middle, but I don't for know. For real why life. That that for real like. life. But Alright, guys. And do This that. is fun. Not not too difficult in the brain power department, which is nice. Uh, there's a couple things where I feel like we're ahead of the game uh, again. We're definitely ahead of the game with the nameplate switching. Yeah. But, but this is also the tutorial case. Thank you all for coming out tonight and hanging out with us, playing this Ace Attorney. Yes. Thank you all to our thank you, thank you. lovely channel members. Uh, if you guys want to get some emojis or... Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Mm -hmm. Enthuse has made oh. a wonderful, comprehensive list of all the Smasher Pass modes. Yes. Yes. That's so fucking cool. And, uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see uh, the Ace Attorney videos basically all at once in one month, that's one of the tiers possible as well. Um, and yes. lots of cool other stuff. So you should check lots that out if you're interested. <laughs> lots of but cool stuff. <laughs> Just hanging out with us during stream in the VODs. We see you guys too. Commenting on the videos, everything like that is very, very, Means a very lot appreciated. To us, you guys. So, uh, we hope you have a lovely weekend. Happy Easter for yes, those who if are, you celebrating. are celebrating. Easter, Corey, have a happy roll one. Roll the YouTube members again. Uh, third time. All right. Again. Dylan roll demands it, again. it, so it shall be. Thank you all, and have a lovely weekend. Yes. Holiday. See you guys. Thanks for coming. We Bye. will see you next week. Take care in a brand new month. Yeah. Let's go.